Hello everyone and welcome to another Sovereign Citizen Watch stream. I hope you're all having a good one. Um, I finally had my appointment today to get uh, my blood test results and everything. My meds have been adjusted. Hopefully that will work out. Uh, let's see what I missed in chat. Kirthin with 100 bits says, Having a movie night with friends tonight, but I wish everyone a good stream. Hope you have fun. Nick says, lurking to do some 70 star. Well, good luck. I wish you all of the mushrooms. Wait, were there mushrooms in 64? Whatever. Do the do the speedy thing. Jump real quick backwards on the steps and get up to, to Bowser. It's Sassy. Thanks for 14 months. Says, hey, Hannah, I missed yesterday's stream, but I wanted to ask if you'd seen this TikTok about conspiracy theories. I have a conspiracy theory about conspiracy theories. Remember when the internet was just being born and like we were trying to figure out what to do with it? There was such pure intention about how we could all share information and come together in a profound way. Does she have to be doing this while she's talking? It's kind of annoying me. Why? This space of limitless potential. And during this revolutionary time, there was this big catastrophe. I said catastrophe and I was showing my ass. <sighs> when 9-11 happened, people had a lot of questions. Some were reasonable questions, like what happened to World Trade Center 7? How did it just fall to the ground? Of buildings fell on top of it? The two big buildings next to it? This fucking bitch. I hate this. I hate that. That's not a reasonable question. What happened to Building 7? The Twin Towers fell on it. The Twin Towers fell on top of that building and it collapsed because two skyscrapers fell on it. <laughs> She's not being serious? Oh, thank God. And how some of the terrorists were trained by the CIA. And then a whole movement began on the internet questioning the official narrative. And P.S. That movement was a progressive liberal movement. It doesn't sound like she's faking. This sounds like she's genuinely a conspiracy theorist. A crunchy one. Nick says, wait, we're at the fifth song? Holy crap, we never got this far before Hannah shows up. I know, I was having a stupid argument on Twitter. <laughs> uh, Steve of the Q says, literal mental gymnastics. And Steve of the Q, thanks for 17 months. Um, Hadel Yowl, welcome. Glad you could make it. Um, Bubble Homestead says, parent observation week at the ballet. We'll catch VOD later. Have fun. Uh, well, I hope you uh, have a good time. A whole bunch of left-wing hippies like me started wondering what George Bush and Dick Cheney were up to. I actually don't think as a culture we've laughed enough about Dick and Bush. Like, together? President versus President, Dick and Bush? I mean, that's really funny. There was a lot of power in new media in that moment. There was something meaningful about millions of Americans wondering what their government was really up to. And not just believing everything they heard in the mainstream narrative. And I think that was- Please stop humping the camera. Um, let's see. Hype train started. Dr. Gamble of 50 bits says, Funny story, my ceiling fan in my apartment broke. So had the maintenance man come over and work on it. The next day, my Nintendo Switch was missing. Long story short, he stole it and he sold it. Guess I'm watching every person that comes in my apartment with an obsessive paranoia from now on. Jesus Christ, that sucks. Puka, thanks for 200 bits. It was a genuine threat to the status quo. But of course people in power didn't want people questioning those that were in power. Meaning themselves. The people in power. So what did they do to counteract this genuine threat to their power? Well, they called everything that didn't agree with them a conspiracy theory, and then- No! There are things that are conspiracies that actually happened. For instance, there was a conspiracy on 9-11 to hit the Twin Towers with airplanes. It was a conspiracy by Al-Qaeda and Osama Bin Laden. Ugh. <sighs> Oversaturated the internet with more conspiracy. Uh, sixty-five percent to level one. Conspiracy theories. So anything that questioned anything actually began to look truly insane. I think the internet was intentionally flooded with really outlandish ideas in order to delegitimize the ideas we should be looking at that actually were worth looking at. And do you not see the cosmic joke that once conspiracy theorists were like left-wing kooks and now they're 
right wing? Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, look, it's me. Uh, MW1642, thanks for 100 bits. Uh, Unintendo says, hold on, she makes a persuasive pelvic thrust. Broden says, hey, chat and Hannah, hope you're doing well. Your outfit is cute today. Thank you. Nick says, this is literally the South Park conspiracy argument. Gnome Pickles, thanks for gifting a tier one sub. Old enough to know better now with 100 bits, says... To the person walking in the background, did you report the TikToker is insane, please? Uh, Hadley Owls says, this community is so wholesome and awesome. Thanks, y'all. Rachelogy says, here's a three minute, 15 second, uh, or three minute, 15 second engineering podcast with slides going through specifically how the construction elements, as well as the two planes flying into them, how the Twin Towers collapsed. Is this going to be, here's your problem? Quiet one with 400 bits. Uh, well, here's your problem podcast. Yep, I've heard of it. Um, oh no, it's three hours, 14 minutes. Sorry. Hydrate. Quiet 185, thanks for 400 bits. 50% to level two. Let's try to get to level five. Slide, yeah, I've <laughs> seen the them. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, our... I'd recommend, well, here's your problem podcast. They're interesting. I haven't caught a ton of it, but I'm pretty sure they did a thing on the Grover house at one point that I watched. I've seen a couple of them. But I haven't been very in-depth into their stuff. Hannah streaming for four days straight. People's, I do that regularly. It's not uncommon for me to stream, like, many days in a row. Thursdays I don't, because D&D, &D, and then often I'll take one other day off in the week. But other than that, I stream a lot. I stream the majority of the days in the month. I know this because I have to pay bills, so I know how often I stream. Um... Hindenburg is the best episode. I'll have to check it out. Favorite podcasts? The Always Sunny podcast is pretty funny. Um, Behind the Bastards is good. Let me look at my Spotify real quick. What podcasts do I have? Um... The Office Ladies podcast... You're not so smart is fine. Stuff you should know. It's pretty good. 50% mm, to level 2 still with a little under 2.5 minutes left. What are we going to watch in the meantime? We don't talk... I got We don't talk about Bruno stuck in my head. Don't know why. <sighs> Roland with 55 bits says, Yay, Liam, 53%. Uh, Lily Love Stuff with 50 bits says, Behind the Bastards is great, and this week it's about the founder of Peter's Church's dad. Oh, I gotta check that one out. <laughs> uh, what are your YouTube recommendations like? Let's take a look. We can look at just my main page. Um, we have Super Doge, which is an NFT animated series. Uh, 16 Leo, who I just watched for fun. Um, Planar Walk, who debunks Flat Earth stuff. NFT-verse, talking about NFT projects. Um, I'm trying to see other stuff that I recognize. Some stuff about Chris Chan. Uh, Purple Spyro Fan, thanks for six months. 84% to level two with under a minute and a half left. Am old enough to know better now. Thanks for gifting two tier one subs. There's an Uncle Roger video. Sarah Zed. Some film stuff. Flat Earth stuff from Eric Dubay. Steve Shives. Uh, more Eric Dubay. Some Blu-ray collection stuff. I don't know. It's not that interesting. It's less interesting than you'd think, honestly. 
Astro Fox. Oh, we made it to level three. Astro Fox gets us to 39% to level three with 100 bits. Says, oh no, Ross and Carrie is a pretty good podcast. They investigate and discuss woo science, conspiracy theories, and out there religions. Highly recommend their UFO conference series and their Bob Larson one. Yeah, I think I have them on a list. I just haven't listened to them yet. Someone else recommended them to me, though. <sighs> What's that vegan teacher been doing? Is there any short ones I could watch real quick? Here, we'll do we'll do some short ones while we're doing this hype train. 39% to level 3. Get us to level 5, chat. I'm really not good at shilling myself. <laughs> you know the first the first unlawful detention don't get out of the car. If the cop pulls you over, don't get out of the car. Especially if you're not white. They will shoot you on sight. That rhymed. You guys gave me with all them 900, 800 something tickets for the alleged dirt bike being on the a public sideway. That's getting dismissed. <laughs> They're willing to dismiss it if I decide to $75 donation to a church. What's that tell you? It tells you that the law is on my side, sir. That I know what I'm talking about. And, and now that you've been delivering indifference and you actually encountered with me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deliver indifference to you of Title 18, 241, 242 fish. Okay. Did you just say 242 fish? Tube Man says, Chad is my sovereign right. It is my sovereign right to get this hype train to level 5. Mr. Whiskers with 50 bits. Brodins with 100 says, for the hype. Now we're at 50% to level 3. Okay. Hey, you know what Title 18, 241, 242 is? What is it? No, it ain't. It's actually, it's actually laws put in place for me. That means anybody who conspires to deprive one of their rights or deprive ones of their rights can be held accountable in a tort claim on your persons. No, I, I don't think you do because you just try to cite me something you didn't even know. You guys are fine. I'm going to burn you guys on a lawsuit. Good luck. Roll in seven with 100 bits. No, you don't. And, and then on your persons, that means your house, your bank account. You guys don't, you're uneducated. No, you don't, but you're going to. You're going to legally. You think you know, but you don't. <laughs> Stone Corbell with 250 bits says, quote, You made quite a non-binary fuss to save the world from intercontinental ballistic tweets. Yeah, I saw that tweet. Lily Love Stuff says, Knowledge Fight is a good one. Chat may be into if they listen to and debunk Alex Jones and Infowars stuff. I actually have that one saved too. I think I watched like one episode. It was interesting. Rachiology says, YouTube recommendations. Uh, if you'll indulge me, Time Team was an archaeology TV show in the UK that actually did archaeology. Each week was a three-day excavation. It was amazing and one of the reasons I became an archaeologist. All the episodes are going up for free on YouTube and they're now making a new series specifically for it. Oh, that's cool. I shall save it. Thank you. 79% to level 3 with a minute left. We have a minute to keep this hype train going. Brodins with another 100 says, go, go, go. How you doing? My name is Deputy Green. Yes, sir. Can I What's the reason you stopped me for? Yep, the reason I stopped you is because you have an illegal tag border and you also made an illegal lane change on White Horse Road back there. No, I... Oh, this was a completely different video. Whoops. <laughs> That'll do it. Um, Mr. Whiskers with 100 bits says, More hype, Bitter Grin with 100 bits. Memes or Kolboth gives five tier one subs, which is super rad. Where did that video go we were watching? There it is. You're violating my civil rights right now. Traffic stops well, aren't violating you your civil how rights I'm inherently. Acting under interstate commerce? Cuz that's what He thinks that you need to be acting under interstate commerce in order to <laughs> need a driver's license. He's wrong. 2% to level 5. What you're trying to fuck Only what only 98% more to get this hype train ending strong chat. Extort I believe people. in us. You're writing me tickets for interstate commerce. Well, that's interstate commerce, sir. Incorrect. 
That's interstate commerce! That's interesting, too, because he actually is using a different justification than other sovereign citizens I've seen. Most sovereign citizens believe, based on a misunderstanding of an early version of Black's Law Dictionary from, like, the 1930s or 1920s or something. I don't remember which edition it is. I want to say it's second edition Black's Law Dictionary. I'm not positive, though. Anyway, uh, one of the definitions in there is of driver, and the definition of driver in that old edition of Black's Law Dictionary includes the quote, um, one who is employed in operating a coach, carriage, or automobile. Now, they think the word employed there means hired, as in you need to be operating in a commercial capacity, when, of course, anyone with a basic understanding of the English language knows that employed can also mean to make use of, which is the way, way that it's being used in that old version. Um, notwithstanding, the more recent versions of Black's Law Dictionary don't even use that verbiage, so it doesn't matter. But he's not using that excuse. He thinks you only need a driver's license for interstate commerce. So even fewer people need a driver's license in his twisted worldview. He thinks the only reason you would need a driver's license is to go across state borders, which is weird considering driver's licenses are not a federal thing, they are a state thing. Why would states handle driver's licensing when he thinks it is a federal level issue by citing interstate commerce? That doesn't make any sense. Bittergrin, thanks for gifting five tier one subs. Don't you know the laws you swore to protect? Didn't Better you than swear you. to uphold the Constitution of the United States? Didn't you? Yeah, the Constitution that says the states can make laws, and one of the laws that states make are about requiring driver's licenses. Bittergrin, I appreciate you gifting five tier one subs to the community. And Brodens with 200 bits says, My last bits, take them. I will take them. 92% to level 5. We're so close. Do you swear to a affirmation? Fish? Did you swear to uphold the Constitution of the United States? Then why are you violating my rights? You don't have a right to drive around on public roads without a driver's license. It's not in the Constitution. Gnome Pickles, thanks for gifting a sub, getting us over level 5. We killed it, chat. Thank you very much. I appreciate it so much. I'm gonna find out if they want your car. Oh, by the way, tomorrow is D&D. &D. Tomorrow's D&D, &D, so I won't be streaming here tomorrow. I'll be over on actual Jake's channel. Friday I will be streaming, but Saturday I'm taking a day off because Saturday is my birthday. So Saturday I will not stream. I'll be back Sunday, though. Uh, hats off. Freaking out. What would you like me to wear for hats off? Well, how are you going to tow it if you can't get in and get me out? They're gonna, they ain't towing it when I'm in it. And you ain't getting a shirt. <laughs> they'll pull you out of the car is what they'll do. Professor Hat, can do. Come on over there and park it. <laughs> do that right now. And I'll wait. I don't need to right now. I will when I'm done with you guys. Okay. I'm being detained right now unlawfully. You are. Oh, I know I am. You're going to learn the law that you swore to uphold. <laughs> am I free to go or am I still being detained? Oh, there's so much cat hair on this. I have to clean this. The professor would be ashamed of me. Thanks for the hype train, everyone. I don't want to accept it. It's unlawful. It's not unlawful? Yeah, it is. Oh, hey, believe me, it's unlawful. It's not unlawful. You're going to learn. Listen, you, better, you better check out. Hey, so listen, a little education for you. Serena versus Thompson. You need to mail that back in that white envelope in 20 days to avoid any type of suspension for your license. Okay. A license is interstate commerce. Okay, your license no, it's is not. Suspended. That's what the ticket is for. I'm going to give you a verbal warning. I don't need a license to travel. Oh, he has a suspended rules. license. Okay, I'm going to give you a, a verbal warning for the headlight. The headlight is not working on this vehicle. Okay. I just spoke with Terry. She said she was aware of the headlight. And she was aware that you were driving the vehicle. So that's good. I don't drive. I travel, sir. You keep on trying to say drive. You keep on trying to say commerce. Driving does not have anything to do with commerce inherently. 
And he said the thing. He said traveling. So you're traveling with the vehicle. How's that? So you do recognize I travel? Sure. Okay. So go ahead and travel this vehicle right over by that white <laughs> vehicle right over there. Because you cannot travel any further on these roads according to the Vermont DMV. Okay, so what, what, what about the United States Supreme Court rule, though? The Vermont DMV says... Pipe? The United States Supreme Court has upheld that you can be required to have a driver's license. All sorts of courts have dealt with this. Yes, you need a driver's license to operate motor vehicles on public roads. I, I understand that. I understand that. You're going by... So, yeah, I understand what you're saying. You're saying DMV says I can't do that, right? That is correct. Okay. So, but would you agree that United States Supreme Court overrules that? that? DMV says that you cannot drive your vehicle, this vehicle on a public highway. And you're not going to be driving it from this curve forward. But I don't drive. It right over there. I travel. Okay. So, you're not going to be traveling it down the road. Yeah, I will. Yeah, well. Well, then you're going to... It's going to end up getting towed. Well, if you decide to steal my property and break in my car without a search warrant, mm -hmm. you're going to have some issues. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Have a great day. I know the law, bud. <laughs> you're going to get agitated. Both of you are going to get agitated on the law today. Carl. No, there ain't no Carl. You're violating my civil right. No. See ya. Well, you'd have to break in to get me out of it to do that. And that means you have to- They are fully capable and willing to break your window and pull you out of the car. We've seen enough of these videos to know that. You get a search warrant. And who's gonna give you a search warrant to get in my private property for exercising a constitutional right? They don't need a warrant if they have probable cause and their probable cause is they see you committing a crime. They already know you don't have a driver's license because your license has been suspended. And if they see you operating a motor vehicle on public roads, they can absolutely get into the car and pull you out of it. Um, and I'm pretty sure during the course of the arrest, they're allowed to search your car. Not positive on that one, though. But they can absolutely stop you and get you out of the car. It's already been stated. Fuck you, motherfuckers. Did he even use a middle finger? It looked like he did this with, like, an index finger. But it was, like, with the, with the gusto of a middle finger, but it looked like he did this. <laughs> Looks like he was about to turn the car back on, which... Probably wouldn't go great for him, but you know. Do you. <sighs> What's his newest videos about? Challenging jurisdiction? That's nah, not gonna go well. Oh god, is he in a courtroom? Yeah, he's in a courtroom. Crunchy pocket noises. <coughs> Narendra Owl says, can't imagine searching the car would be much more relevant if the crimes are known. Sovereign Citizen Bingo. Okay. This is just for fun. For the record. We only do the gift subs on, um... We only do the gift subs on, uh, uh, Tinfoil Tuesday. On Tinfoil Days. But we can play this for fun. What do we have so far? This is just on mine. I don't have a master list or anything. Um... Narnia Owl says, can't imagine searching the car would be much relevant uh, if the crime is already known. Right, but I'm not sure if they're allowed to search for other reasons. Let's see. Sovereign citizen gets taged, spells out full name with upper and lower cases noted. Reasonable health measures are, quote, the Holocaust. Window gets smashed. America's corporation. Statute is not law. Crap etymology. I'm not dra driving. I'm traveling. That should borderline be a free space. Um, sovereign citizen is sexist, uh, LGBTQIA phobic. I would like to speak to your sheriff, supervisor, anti-masker, more citizen. I am the person, flesh and blood entity, not a corporation. <laughs> That's a free space. Um, has a prior warrant. Uh, Non-USA police act with surprising humanity. Nuremberg Cobe, I don't stand under your authority. I don't understand. God's law says officers don't understand the law. Had that one. Are you standing under your oath? Did he say, are you standing under your oath? today i don't think he did i think he said do do do, do you stay no he said something to that effect so i'll give it i haven't broken the law because there's no injured party hands the cop a paper with their fake laws on it sovereign citizen gets away with it record secretly in court common law jurisdiction we're watching one right now where it's record secretly in court so <laughs> i already have a lot of spaces wait is this the right one 
think that's the wrong one. Where is it? <coughs> Yours has a Marcellus still on the run from the Royal Canadian Mounted Police Space. <laughs> Thank you for making that, by the way, Baha. As always, we appreciate it very much. <coughs> oh my god, get to the part where they talk to you. You could have edited out this part. Oh, crunchy. I'm going to object right now before we go any further, Your Honor, to establish the legal attempt for jurisdiction in this court for the record. Well, what jurisdiction we're offering under. And if this is not. Try and make the subtitles as big as possible. I've been having issue. Um, I've been having issues with YouTube's subtitles recently, where they show up really tiny for me. I don't know why. I'll try and make sure the volume's high enough. But if not, let me know. Don't give you a right now. Right now, it's not. There we go. I think he's about to take it out of his pocket. Give me a second, I'm just... Yeah, he set it on something. So this is docket number 1973-6-19. You are Carl Boyd, sir. Uh, I'm the living person, Carl Boyd. Uh, sir. He said he is the living person. Uh, I want to let the court know that uh, I'm here under special appearance and not general or voluntary, but under threats of arrest and their consequences we fail to do so. If we move for forward, sir, because I don't... I want to turn it up a little more, I think. ...understand the nature and cause of the charge. Uh, I'm not even sure what jurisdiction the court is operating under right now because the state has failed to disclose what jurisdiction we're operating under. And if there's not a jurisdiction, then I'm going to move for... Uh, to dismiss for lack of jurisdiction over this person. Do we have, like, tries to say jurisdiction isn't a thing, or they questions jurisdiction on the bingo card? I don't think I have it, but if someone else has it, <laughs> let me know. Common law, common law jurisdiction? No, that's a different thing. A little love stuff says, I'll gift the winner a sub. Cool. So you've been charged uh, with false pretenses and also uttering... Uh, a forged instrument there it's what we call an information which is a charge uh, I'm going to object right now before we go any further your honor can we establish legal intent for okay so false pretenses and using a false instrument I'm pretty sure a false what there is okay there's no you have no jurisdiction space sorry I missed your pitch eighth beard H. Baird said, while looking at the black void, just remember, when you stare long into the abyss, the abyss stares into you. So I'm guessing by false instrument and false pretenses, they're basically saying he used some falsified legal document or fake legal document and tried to present it as real. At least that is what it sounds like to me, which is pretty common for sovereign citizens. They file false liens or try and use false documents and paperwork and stuff like that. Jurisdiction in this court will the record. Well, fake law paperwork. Does it just say fake law paperwork? Fake plate or license? Um, I guess I don't know what it says specifically. What is, what is the specific wording of the space? Not fake plate or license, because we don't know that to be the case yet. It could just be paperwork. If there's one that just says fake law paperwork, yes. Well, because jurisdiction, depending on the jurisdiction, criminal law applies differently to, to criminal, civil, common law, or criminal poverty. Maritime. This is criminal. This sounds like a criminal, and he said Admiralty Maritime Law. I don't know if that's a space. Law. So I have to know and I have the right under the due process of the Sixth Amendment to know the jurisdiction that I'm being charged under. And how can I proceed to handle my legal affairs if I do not know the jurisdiction that the court is operating under? Let me answer your question, okay? I have reviewed what's called the information in the affidavit. That's the charge and the sworn statement by the officer. The, the allegations there... 
Has he said he's appearing pro se? He hasn't said it, but he clearly doesn't have a lawyer with him. I suggest that this happened in Vermont. I'm not, I don't want you to respond one way or the other as to whether or not you agree or disagree with that. So to answer your question, Vermont... Why do they seem to speak so robotically? Because they're reading mentally off a script. They have bullet points that they've been told to say as statements, and they repeat them. It does have jurisdiction. This court does have jurisdiction. Your bingo card changed? Weird, mine didn't. To go forward, and I found probable cause. Okay, can you state the jurisdiction for the court, what jurisdiction we're under? Yeah, the state of Vermont. Well, state of Vermont statutes are not jurisdiction, so I'm going to object for appeal processes. Oh, yeah, am I on a different, I might be on the same bingo card as someone else. Does anyone else see me clicking Nuremberg code? You're adding as we go, okay. Nernandia Owl says, why do they keep bringing up maritime law again? I don't see many sovereign citizens in boats. They think everything is maritime law. You gotta make sure when you click the link, you, like, hit... Oh no, it does generate. So, I don't know then. I don't know why that happened. Okay, your objection is noted. Probably because things are getting added. So, today's purpose is simply to... In the, uh, to determine whether or not you're entering a not guilty plea. You were asked whether or not you wish to proceed without an attorney, and I see that you didn't sign the waiver form. So the first question is, do you wish to proceed today, with, which is what, it's just an arraignment, uh, to proceed without an attorney? Or do you want to speak to a public defender who will, if they're not here yet, will be here later this morning? I have a right to handle my own legal affairs in the corporation of court here. Uh, and I'm still gonna... In the corporation of court, is there a court, is a corporation space? Uh, definitely pro se though. Object because this court has yet stated, had not stated jurisdiction, if, it, if it's either criminal common law jurisdiction or admiralty under section one, excuse me, article one, section eight. It's so not admiralty. Clause 17 of jurisdiction. America is a corporation. Uh, he didn't say America, he said the court which is different. So I'm gonna say no. It's either criminal common law or criminal admiralty. And I need to know so I can prepare. Maybe put your organization as a corporation, parentheses, it isn't on the card as well. Cause sometimes they say America's a corporation. Sometimes they say the police are a corporation, but the police are not America. So maybe they could be two separate spaces. Blackwing Hackerty says, uh, Bien vu, Power Bottoms. Uh, your favorite ace bottom brat has arrived. Say, say moi. I don't, I, I don't speak French. <laughs> An adequate Hello. presentation for my legal defense and, my, and handle my legal affairs, affairs in the right manner, in the right direction. But I cannot do that if the court refuses to state what your statute is not jurisdiction. State, is your state statute? Excuse me, I'm nervous. I'm fighting for my life for something I didn't do. Uh, my statutes are not, are not jurisdiction. Jurisdiction is either criminal common law or criminal admiralty. And I have the right- No, they're not. What are you talking about? Evil dead guy with a link. Oh no, what is this? Oh, it's, it's, oh no, it's Moorish American music. This be the self self glitch. Moorish American space. Okay, I'm already over that. <laughs> right under the Sixth Amendment, the Constitution of the United States to know the nature and charge and understand what jurisdiction I'm being charged in. Treats arraignment as trial. <sighs> He's trying to challenge jurisdiction, which... I think if it was an actual issue, you would deal with during the... 
court case, not the arraignment. So yes, I'll say yes. The state is also, not hello, Mr. Blast. <laughs> I am the state. So, Mr. Blake, the, uh, I... And he has made an objection so far. We can proceed right now if you wish. And I'm not going to get into your arguments any further. I do have some concerns based on what you're expressing as to whether or not you understand fully this proceeding. Would you, uh, I would like to have you speak to the public defender this morning if you're willing to do that and then come back. Uh, for, the, for the record, Your Honor, the law provides that one state, one state, in federal, one state or federal jurisdiction has been challenged, it must be proven. That's under Maine versus. And he has an affidavit that shows that the alleged crime was committed within the jurisdiction of this court. So that's it. They did it. They proved jurisdiction. This is T volt, T volt, I think it is 100. Uh, 25 volt 21980. Jurisdiction can be challenged at any time, and once challenged, cannot be assumed. It must be decided. Uh, Basel versus Utah Power and Lights Company, 495 F2D, 906 and 810. There is a well. There is as well no discretion to ignore the lack of jurisdiction, uh, and that's what this court is doing. So I'm going to object to that. I understand. Your uh, the objection. burden of the shift uh, it proves. Excuse me, the burden shifts to the court to prove jurisdiction. The court hasn't... And they have done so by showing you that they have an affidavit from the police officer telling them that they saw you commit the crime in the jurisdiction of the court, which is a physical location. The jurisdiction of the court is both the kind of thing that happened, whether it's a traffic violation, a civil violation, or a criminal violation, so that determines what specific court it goes to, but also a geographical location that is the purview of said court. They have an affidavit saying you committed criminal offenses within the limits of the geographical boundaries of the court's jurisdiction, therefore they have proven jurisdiction. <laughs> Hydrate. This Cornet Vol says, I think this is the uh, inflection point in their minds. If they make a plea, then they have considered th to the process, consented to the process, and are in a word effed. <laughs> You're not necessarily wrong. A lot of them think that once you start, uh, you know, complying with the court process, that it is consent. The problem is, you don't need to consent to a court process. It happens whether you consent to it or not. It's court. Yeah. Uh, fabricate a statue as a jurisdiction. And it's... Mr. Boyd, I'm going to give you a response and then we're going to proceed. Okay. okay. Your objections are noted. There are two forms of jurisdiction, personal and subject matter. You're here, you've been served, and you're a state, you're in Vermont, we have personal jurisdiction. This is a criminal court in the state of Vermont. This court has subject matter jurisdiction over this proceeding. I found probable cause, so I'm not going to entertain your arguments any further. Okay, I'm just going to object to personal uh, I understand, and you certainly have a right. For the record. I understand, and you certainly have a right at a later point to raise these issues if you think it's important. Well, not I, I can't enter a plea then, uh, no one plea, without knowing the proper jurisdiction because personal jurisdiction. And what I'm going to do. If you choose not to put in a plea, they're just going to put in a not guilty plea for you on your behalf because it is assumed by the court that you are not guilty innocent until proven guilty and all that so i'm going to postpone this this morning and i want you to speak to a public defender. Uh, no, I, what do they think should happen when they refuse consent i guess in their mind they just think the court should say okay you're free to go we can't do anything which isn't how anything works of course we're going to move forward then i'm not going to waive my 24 hour rule and i'm going to request under five Right. And what I'm going to do is the uh, I'm going to enter not guilty pleas. I object, Your Honor. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, when this happens and they get difficult during an arraignment, the judge typically will just enter a not guilty plea. It's easier. It's clearly it's clear that what they are doing is saying they're not guilty, but they're just trying to weasel out of the whole process, which you can't do. Like once you're in the court system, you're in it. It's happening. You're not going to talk your way out of it, no matter what. Um, so get a lawyer and deal with the process the proper way. So the judge is just going to try and put in the not guilty plea because that's clearly where this is going um, and shuffle this guy out of the court so we can deal with it another day, hopefully with this guy having a public defender. You're practicing law from the bench and you're forbidden. <laughs> can we have a why is it always Michigan on this as well? You know what? I think that's a good idea. <laughs> 
because <laughs> we do see a lot of Michigan ones. I'm doing that. Sovereign citizens are pretty popular in uh, some of the more rural parts of Michigan. So for the record, I object. I, and your objection Unless you're the making a uh, legal determination that I'm actually not guilty. I'm, I'm entering not guilty pleas on counts one and two, and I'm going to release you on the following conditions. Can I be a piece about the affidavit, Your Honor? No, I'm sorry I interrupted, but there's so many holes in it. We've got to be determined. This is not an opportunity. Oh, there he is. Now he's definitely trying to treat it as a t trial. Your first hearing here, the, um, oh God, why am I blanking on the word now? <laughs> not indictment. That's completely wrong. Um, the arraignment. Thank you. Why does, thanks. Um, the arraignment is just for you to plead. It's them to explain your charges to you and make sure you understand them and then plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest if that's something that's applicable with your case. That's it. If you have problems with the affidavit that was filed in the court, that's something that I was going to say you, but preferably something your lawyer will attempt to poke holes in during the rest of the proceedings during the actual trial if you choose to go to trial. <laughs> Well, there's not an arraignable issue, and, and I have a right to challenge that. What would the I don't understand legalese space look like? Literally, they will say, quote, I don't understand legalese. It's a quote. Be heard as due process. I'm saying that there's not a arraignable issue right here. Yeah, there's sovereign citizen bingo now. That this is fabricated. There's, there's no statements that the Mr. state said Boyd, that there is. I'm asking you not to interrupt me and let me complete. Okay, I understand uh, that you object and your objections are noted. Okay? This is that you're going to be, we're going to release you subject to conditions. You have to come to the court when you're required to do so. You have to give your attorney, if you end up with one, or the court clerk, your address and phone number, and if anything changes, to let the court know that. This is important. You must not have contact with Elsie Duchon, and that's in any form. We're going to be giving this in writing and sign and request to sign it, okay? And you're also required to return to court. And do we have a date? I don't waive my 24-hour rule, Your Honor, for the record, and I, I move for a probable cause here within 24 hours under Rule 5. You, you do have that right, so if you want, you can come back here tomorrow yes. for the arraignment. Yeah, because I don't believe you guys have probable cause over or jurisdiction over this person. All right. So uh, can, can you state for the record what probable cause you're establishing that this affidavit or this complaint has? The been? affidavit, uh, you've seen it and read it, and you've acknowledged it. Well, I don't it. understand it. I understand. If you want to come back tomorrow, <laughs> that's a good reason to get a lawyer. I don't understand the affidavit. Oh, well, you're not going to put a very good defense then, are you? Do that. So we'll give you a notice. If that's what you wish to do, you can invoke the 24 hour rule and come back tomorrow to do this. Well, can I understand the nature of what the probable cause that you're finding on this? Uh... It's in the hand paperwork that you were just told. So, do you what's your probable you? cause? There's nothing on record, John, on what you're stating as far Mr. as Boyd, probable we're cause. We're going to end this now, okay? I offered to have you enter not guilty please now you don't wish to, so you do have to be back here tomorrow at 8 30. Well, understand? I object because you're, you're practicing law from the bench and you're forbidden from doing that. Exactly. It's not practicing law from the bench to put in a not guilty plea for you and you're clearly saying that you're not guilty. You not complying with the process does not mean the process will not go on without you. The person that can answer for me is my power attorney. I don't need to consent you hear that? attorney. You have a presumption of innocence. You don't have a presumption of... <laughs> so if you say nothing, they assume you are, you, are, you are not guilty and are then going to trial. MH Dark Beast, thanks for 22 months, says, Oh my god, Hannah, not only is my birthday the 11th, my sub-anniversary today, but they just announced this. Every game, both arcade and home. What is this? Oh, TMNT. That's cool. I never played the TMNT games as kids. I know... I know they were quite popular. They were a little before my time, though. Like, the first video game system I think I owned was, like, a Game Boy Advance and then a GameCube. So I wasn't really... My cousins had a Super Nintendo, but I didn't play it a ton other than, like, Super Mario World. You have to be back here tomorrow at 10.30. Um, I would just ask for a pre All right, I'm done with this guy just because the audio quality is not great.
think this is another frauditor. This is in Michigan. So if we get a, why is it always Michigan space? This would count. Uh, this is in Livonia, City Hall. Oh God, what is this music? Oh, okay. You can't go down here I unless you have can. an appointment. I most certainly can. Not anymore. Not is he just trying to go to places in the city hall he's not allowed to go? <laughs> yes, I can. The, the yes leave. I can, sir. Right. Yes, I can, leave sir. Leave right now. No, sir. I want to go down here to this publicly not, accessible area. No. Yeah. Building and inspections, no. engineering, uh, zoning board. Yeah, I have the right to go down there. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. I will certainly not, do. Not unless you have an appointment. I don't need an appointment. Yes, you do. No, I don't, sir. That's why I don't... Does he not know loitering is a law? Like, like if you're just loitering a place, they can tell you to leave. Anybody else down there unless they have an appointment? I don't need an appointment, yes, sir. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Anybody that has to go down there needs an appointment. Where's that? Where's the sign at for that? There is no sign. Oh, okay. It's not legal unless there's a sign. Why are they putting the Jaws music over this? Uh, I'm gonna have to remove this section because of the Jaws theme song. Thanks. <laughs> uh, how about... Which one do I want to do? How about this guy? Um, so remember Tyrant Slayer? He's a First Amendment frauditor who goes around and... Well, he does the frauditor thing. He annoys people with his camera. He's also the same guy that filmed when the cops were coming to try and take his kid because there was a court order to take the kid to uh, the mother, and he kept refusing. Uh, eventually, he did lose that kid, so that's good. So this is a different video of him just being obnoxious and annoying people. Interestingly, has a 360 camera, so this is a little different. Nick says, that's why you always see signs saying, don't murder, don't steal, and don't put up posters without frames. Exactly, see? And all those signs are, of course, framed. Let me be right back. I'll be right back, right, sir? Uh, am, I, hey, am I being detained? All right, do you feel like you're being detained? Listen. I oh, God, he's having too much fun fucking with these people. Um, by the way, uh, I don't know if I'm being, am I being detained is on the bingo card, but if not, it should be. <laughs> and that counts. You know, the words matter. Yeah, I, words I matter. Hi. You may remember me. I was here last week sometime. Um, uh, you got that kid recording on me. I can't recall. Let's see if these people, uh, Respect our First Amendment rights. This is Where is he even doing this at? Where did he say? Crazy. Let's discontinue the, the recording. You can't be in the building without an ID. You can't be in the building without an ID. It's just a supercut of him being a douche. Can't be in the building without an ID. All right, to film our state employees. It's a public building, is it not? <laughs> is it illegal for me to go into public? Well, if you want to go over there, then. What is this editing? This is working for all of us. I'm very aware of my rights as an American. So we got one, two. Yeah, There's four, five, six. Another camera there. I hope you're aware of mine, too. Uh, I'm gonna post this on YouTube. YouTube, you put me on YouTube? Oh. Okay. Now you can understand how it works both ways, right? This one, the day was going to. They got everybody in. So, so. I'm in a public place. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a weird comedy sketch. Have you ever seen the show I Think You Should Leave? This feels like a weird I Think You Should Leave sketch where someone just wants attention so bad that they're willing to look like an ass in order to do it. I'm a member of the public. How are you? 
I'm an American citizen. I'm conducting business yeah, with my state employees. Mm -hmm. Kind of like an uh, undercover boss type okay. situation, if you will. I'm not doing any video whatsoever, and this, this equipment is not allowed to go. You know, that's not true. You know, that's not true. That's not a, this is not an undercover boss, though. <clears throat> oh, that's fine. I'm fine. It's totally legal. We're all trying to find out who yep. did this. They're asking you to have a seat over there, sir. Okay. What is this edit? I'm looking forward to it, sir. Thank you. We're good, right? I'm willing to go ahead and get arrested to stand up for our rights and educate the public. Let's do this then. You were just like you were willing to lose your kid. How'd that work out? MMO Addicted says, Hey there, Hannah and Stanas. Took the kids out to the zoo yesterday. I think my godson is starting to open up slowly. It's been hard on him. Don't know if Baja told you, but the guys transporting them stole his tablet. I gave him mine for now. It's awful. I'm ashamed to post it again, but desperate times. If anyone wants to support us, here's my PayPal. Yeah, uh, MMO Addicted is dealing with uh, the Ukraine stuff. Had to bring in um, god kids from Ukraine. Uh, so, and there were a bunch of issues with it. So if you can help out MMO Addicted with a, a buck or two, you can send it to uh, the PayPal there. Always helpful. I know our community and Jake's community are always very helpful to people in the community when they need it, so. I'm just going to stop because we're not sure if you can record this right now. Well, I mean, it should be pretty easy to figure out. It's the First Amendment, right? There's absolutely nothing illegal about filming public officials in public. Okay. Somebody's got to do it, right? He's got Eric Andre vibes. That's a good way to put it. Like a weird, chaotic energy underneath the surface that could pop off at any second. This is just the adult man-child version of I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you. Oh, he's almost certainly gonna get away with it. I don't think he's been arrested for this. Expectation of privacy while you're at work because you're serving the public. Because it's if you know that they gonna get you in trouble, if you know that they gonna get you in trouble, if you know that they gonna get you in trouble. Sociopaths and tyrants like that trying to violate my rights over feelings and his ignorance of the law, he's ready to destroy my life. He wants law enforcement and you know the relationship between the state. Why did he bring binoculars? And the citizens. This is a great way to educate people on both sides of that issue. I call the cops on me? Go ahead. I'm not doing anything wrong. And then in the end, he will be educated and maybe he'll stop violating people's rights. Maybe, maybe people can actually go around and exercise their rights. Rights are like muscles. If you don't go out and exercise your rights, they're going to fade away. You're going to fade away. Good. How are you? Good. Quick question for you. Are you waiting on something to get done here? They kind of stopped me from finishing my business. In fact, I'd like them identified. Um, well, because of everything that's going on with this COVID-19 stuff, because you got two signs posted there on the door, all I would ask you to do is just complete your business as quick as you can, and then I'm going to ask you to leave. They got everybody in. So, so. Okay, it doesn't just happen to the inner city kids. I think this is going to help make all of our lives better. I'm here to hold everyone accountable. They don't like the fact of you wearing a hat. I'm yeah. not taking my hat off. Okay. Well, I figured I figured the hat would be a problem for some folks yeah. here, but that's that's not my problem. And then we're going to send it up to the group that actually mm -hmm. reviews all of this because mm -hmm. we don't do it in our team at all. Mm -hmm. We just take in the Now, who is the group? Is that like a, a table of czars or is there like accountability <laughs> involved? No, How do they do they have like a, a, a protocol that they follow? I would or? not know. Would imagine is there a way to get in contact with them? How are you doing? Sir? I'm doing well. What's so going I'm going to make these copies. Okay. And I'm uh, just filming my state employees in their official public capacity as a member of the public. I have every right to okay. film them yeah. and right. my engagement here with them. All right. But it's uh, just like something going on specifically at all or what? Did they say what this building is for? I didn't see. I just told you I'm here conducting business relative to my state tax return. Mm -hmm. That's okay. specifically why I'm here, yes. Okay. All right. 
that they're helping you out, though, right? Are you a police officer? Yes, sir? I am. What's your uh, name and badge number? Excellent. What's your badge number, sir? Is that on there? Yeah. Mr. Poma? Yes. Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you for your service. Name and badge number? I don't but, know yeah, if that's I have the no, bingo card. No nefarious intent. There's uh, some people here very uncomfortable being filmed, but their feelings don't uh, trump my okay. rights. But their feelings don't uh, trump my okay. rights. Well, he has to take his glasses off before oh, we serve okay. him. That's right. a little ridiculous. Oh, yeah. well, you know the situation. I know everything that's going on as well, too. Uh, that stuff doesn't trump our rights or change change the Constitution. That stuff doesn't trump our rights or change change the Constitution. Yeah. Hey, no, so, okay. This is a First Amendment right, protected so activity. Okay. This is a First Amendment right, sir, protected so activity. They're helping you on. Let me be right back. I'll be right back, all right, sir? Hey, am, I, hey, am I being detained? All right, do you feel like you're being detained? Listen. Uh, you know, the words matter. Yeah, uh, words I matter. What you're... Yeah, a couple, two, three tyrants working for the state. I like that he's calling them tyrants, and literally all they're doing is being like, hey, you're making people uncomfortable. Can you stop? That's literally like the maximum amount of effort that is being spared on him. <laughs> and they're tyrants! Nick says, uh, public buildings are allowed to have rules. You're not supposed to wave your tallywhacker in public building, but I bet he's okay with that rule, I hope. <laughs> I mean, he did get a kid taken away from him. <laughs> I mean, I'm not joking about the, <laughs> the fact that this kid got taken away. I'm joking about the implication. They don't like being on film. Who does? I wonder if they have something to hide. They failed First Amendment order at the uh, Department of Revenue Service. The Department of Revenue Service. This is about to end. I know it's making some people nauseous. I apologize. 450 Columbus Boulevard, Hartford, Connecticut, in the Socialist Racketeering State, capital city of Hartford. The Socialist Racketeering State. Stone Corbell says, no one would like some asshole filming them at work, you jerk. Racialology says, I think the fisheye video and bizarre editing might actually be an accurate representation of what the... and Of what the... And then it cuts off. Oh, what the inside of his mind looks like. You're probably not wrong. I, ha I know the person who did the hats off wanted me to wear this, but it's giving me a headache. So I need to switch it. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my mind. Sorry. I wore it for like an hour. <laughs> but I'm switching it to the horns. I need to find a different hat for that if I'm going to continue using that. Because, God. It just like squeezes my head. Annie with a hat's off. Alright, what would you like me to wear? It can't be the professor hat because it's giving me a headache. For the horns? Alright. <laughs> Thanks. It's now official. <sighs> Alright guys, wait for this to populate a little here, and be prosecuted and sued. Um, what's up, Sing Six Banger, Conspiracy Media? Yeah, I'm gonna, I've already paid a call to the uh, local troop who I know that the marshals inside are going to attempt to call and file a false police report on me, making claims that I'm creating a disturbance or that I can't film. He will be creating a disturbance. Again, this is the same guy. This is the guy who had his kid taken away. He's the guy that filmed the cops as they were coming to take the kid and kept refusing even though there was a court order. He's obnoxious. And again, his name is Tyrant Slayer. <laughs> but uh, we know what the law says. And uh, unless there is a signed order by the judge that restricts access from filming in publicly accessible areas of this courthouse... Uh, then our First Amendment absolutely affords us every right. I imagine there probably are. A lot of courthouses absolutely have rules against filming inside of them. What are you talking about? That's a pretty common rule inside American courthouses. I'm not saying it's universal, but a lot of the time, yeah, you're not allowed to film to protect the identities of defendants and witnesses and all sorts of things within the court. Not to mention all the legal documents that are around that you could potentially be filming or trying to get video of, whatever. Courthouses often have rules against filming. That's not uncommon. But again, I don't know about the jurisdiction here. Blackwing Hackety says, more Connecticut. Texts are right. Uh, to film our public servants, including the marshals, in the course of their public duties on behalf. That's actually, look, Tolland, Tolland County, Connecticut, filming in 
court. Let's see. Tea with Goblin says, I find this kind of thing so infuriating because he's getting so wound up over trivialities like being able to film in public employee because he genuinely seems to believe that this is the ultimate exemplar of an oppressive state and not, you know, black teenagers being murdered by cops. The most solipsistic messiah complex ever. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, let's see. Uh, county... Court rules? Let's see if we can find anything about filming. This is definitely the right building. This is just directions how to get to the court. <sighs> filming. I'm not sure if I'll be able to find this online. Here we go. This might be it. Use and possession of electronic devices in superior court facilities. Um, the following guidelines are subject in all cases to a judge or other judicial authority issuing additional specific orders or guidelines for the use of electronic devices in his or her courtroom or hearing rooms. A person may have any of the following electronic devices, a cell phone, a camera phone, a personal computer with or without uh, video or audio recording capabilities, a digital tape audio recorder, a PDA, um, with or without video or audio recording capabilities, any other electronic device that can broadcast, record, or take photos, um, a handheld or portable scanner to reproduce court documents, a portable printer, a person may use a cell uh, may use a cell phone to make phone calls, send an email. Where's the Where's the prohibited? Here we go. Uh, a person is prohibited from using a cell phone or any other electronic device to take pictures except that a person may use a cell phone or other electronic device to photograph court records in a clerk's office as long as doing so does not unreasonably interfere with the operations of the clerk's office take videos make sound recordings broadcast sound broadcast still moving images so it is explicitly disallowed in this courtroom's jurisdiction to film you are not allowed to go in here and film we just read the rules <laughs> you're not allowed to film here isn't it amazing that we live in an age that I can find the court rules for a specific county in Connecticut? The internet's amazing. Apparently this guy didn't want to learn the rules, though. <laughs> yeah, for the people. So uh, I put the uh, state police on notice, told them that they can expect to call from the marshals when I try to enter the building. Yep, that's... Oh, that's good. That doesn't make you sound like a whack job at all. Sorry, the captions keep changing size on me. Right. They are going to lose their qualified immunity and they are going to be sued and they're going to be paying for the damages they've done to my daughter's life, my, my son's, my three, four son's lives, and, and my life and that of my... The daughter that you got taken away? Hmm. My, my wife's life. Uh, and we're going to hold the police and marshals responsible involved in this giant nightmare as well. But uh, our business... I'm putting you on notice on the bingo card, if that's a thing, yeah. Here today is, uh, this is a First Amendment audit here at the Tallinn County Courthouse in which I am going to be inspecting records relevant to my family court case. Uh, these records have been obstructed and my access to them has been restricted over and over and over and over again, uh, which has uh, uh, reduced my ability to self-represent and um, make progress in my family court case uh, down to next to nothing. Um, it's totally unacceptable. Blackwing Hackety says Connecticut is a single party consent state. That means only one person has to consent to filming, so you can film anyone. Yes, but within this courtroom, it's still disallowed from filming. Or within this courthouse, rather. And uh, it's causing great harm and great suffering and trauma uh, to my daughter and her life. And uh, we're here today to go ahead and create record of what happens when I go into... Uh, this would be holding you personally accountable, putting you on notices and quotes. Okay, My fair. courthouse and uh, try to acquire the records that uh, I should have already had months ago. No cannabis, marijuana allowed inside the courthouse is <laughs> very clearly posted. <laughs> so let's see how this goes here today. I think that something like that might have been posted at the courthouse in my the city I, I got my name changed into where I used to live. Is there a big issue with people bringing weed into courthouses? I get it's legal, but like, <laughs> leave it in the car. What are you doing? Leave it at home. Why are you bringing weed with you? Bring our bike inside. Turn it Slayer Studios, Mobile One. 
See if this guy will hold the door for me. Hey, do you mind holding this door for me? No, you can't bring your bike full in here. I can't? No. Why not? <laughs> That's a new one. I have the First Amendment right to bring my bicycle into the courthouse. It's worth like $2,500. It's not safe outside. Is there, a, is there like a, a reason? Have you heard of a bike lock? A bike lock? That might be a good investment for your $2,500 bike. Full reason why I can't. Blackwing Hackity says weed is legal, but there's no setup for recreational dispensaries yet. <laughs> bring my bike inside. PD lets me bring it in over there. I just left Town Hall. They let me bring it in over there. Okay, this is a different building. <laughs> Do you think all buildings are the same because they're all inside? There. I'll leave it here in the foyer, though. So here we are, off to a great start. We got more round number one and more round number two over here. <laughs> Why does he think he has a right to bring a bicycle into the courthouse? That's so fucking bizarre. H. Baird says, you know, cyclists do think they're the center of the universe. Rageology says, knowing degenerate America, the no weed notice is probably for the judges, at least that's what free thinking independent news sources tell me. Let's see. Do I think he rides a bike because he has his driver's license revoked? I have no idea. Let's see. What these morons want to do here with me? So, let's uh, go conduct our business. This won't make it through. They're going to immediately tell you not to film. It's against the rules. Funny how he thinks his rights trump all others. A lot of them are like that. Through the metal detector. I can. It's my first amendment, right? No, it's not. No, it's not. You are not the press. You are not the press, sir. And even if you were, there are still places that are restricted from the press from filming. In courtroom situations, in courthouse situations, there are absolutely places in court that you cannot film, even if you are the news. <laughs> Hydrate. Will do. Unless there's a signed order by the judge that prohibits access to publicly accessible areas in reporting. I've already called the state police, so if you want to call them, you can. They're going to tell you the same thing. We've been through this already. You need a mask to be in the building? Oh, I have a mask. It's right here. Yeah, I got a mask. I'll let you violate that, right? You're going to pay for it. Don't let us know. But uh, I did call state police, and they right, well, are aware we're of what I'm doing come in is this a police station? If so, let's not defend the pig's hand. This is a courthouse. This is a courthouse. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. And I can disagree with the general problems in policing in America without also biasing myself towards agreeing with idiots like this. And First Amendment says I can, and if you're going to try to stop me... Yeah, anti-masker on the bingo card. You're going to have a serious problem. Recording our public officials in the course oh, of their official geez, duties in public is the First Amendment protected, protected activity. It's protected by the Constitution of the United States. So unless there's a signed order from a judge that is housed in this courtroom that restricts access to publicly accessible areas in the recording of our public servants in those areas, and it's if there's no signed order by a judge that restricts that, then I have full free range to walk into any publicly accessible area of this courthouse and film my officials in the course of their official duties. That's what the... Considering it's officially on their website that they're not allowed to film in there, I would imagine it was a signed judge order by whoever is in charge of the rules of this court. <laughs> Discordant Vol with 100 bits says, nuance. Law says. If you guys want to challenge that, that's fine, but ultimately I'm going to end up coming inside. I'm going to be using your database and inspecting records today. I'm going to be asking the clerk some questions, and I'm going to create adjective record for the news story. Here you go, folks. We're live. Yeah. We got uh, Diaz, yeah. Sergeant Diaz over there. That doesn't look publicly accessible. It looks like a checkpoint. Yeah. We've got. Uh, how are you, sir? 
Fairly well. Sir, you're not allowed to film in here. I Step can I, I can film. I've already talked Sir? to state police. I've talked to an attorney. I know Step what my off. rights are. Step I, I, I'm well within my rights. I'm not doing anything illegal here. I'm just Step here off. to inspect some records today. I've already Step called off. state police. Let them know that I'm going to be here and that the marshals need Step to be off. educated on the law. <clears throat> yeah, they know. I already called them before I came in here. So we just make it easy, just step outside to so get here. If they say otherwise, then that's fine. But right now, you know you can't be in the building. But I'm trying to work with you. Just have a reasonable conversation with, with me. So the, I know what the laws are. I'm well aware yeah, of what the laws are. If you I step outside, sorry. wait till they get here, we'll figure it out. It's much warmer in here. I'd rather you stand here. You, you hope he's dabbing while saying this? Okay. Would you like to come to the foyer and speak with me? You can't report inside the building. I'm uh, asking you nicely. Oh, I'm, I'm stepping out, but are you restricted? You gotta dab on the haters sometimes, what can I say? Lily Love Stuff says, wait, the First Amendment says you can record even though there was no recording when it was written? <laughs> In fairness, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and assume when he's talking about the Constitution, he's also talking about Supreme Court decisions that have interpreted the Constitution and the amendments, which does include being able to, for instance, film the police or public officials uh, in their line of duty or during their work. It just depends upon the context. If you're in a courthouse that has explicit rules against filming, that's not against your First Amendment, inherently. Do my access here, Sergeant Diaz? As of right now, yes. Yeah, as of right now, yes, yeah. Because we need the state's police. We need state police permission to inspect public records and film in publicly accessible areas of our, of our... The funny thing is, the rules thing even said he can go use his phone to take pictures of records that he's pulling if he needs them. That's fine. You just can't walk into the courthouse filming. You can't film all along the courthouse. Um, Sanklev, or Sanklev, thank you for 200 bits. State? Oh, okay, go ahead. You're in. No, I'm not blocking anything. Excuse me. Oh, I was talking to this, I was talking to this gentleman. Just wait out there. Sorry. Well, I asked you a question. Just, can you just wait out there? We'll be with I am waiting out here. I was just asking a question. Yeah. There you go. Connecticut's finest. Look at these monkeys. It's like, they're not even people. They're robots. Malevolent drones. Sir. Or you're just a jerk. Roland7 says, just have a reasonable conversation. Ah, he's the sea lion meme. Maps and Mimics, thanks for 14 months, says, feeling like crap tonight, so I'm happy for the stream to take my mind off feeling sick. As always, thanks for what you do. I'm sorry you're not feeling good. I hope you feel better soon. Sir, your rights don't matter here. Sir, sir, this isn't the United States. You don't have any rights here. I'm, I'm Sergeant Diaz. I'm in charge. <laughs> Okay, we'll see how far this goes. We'll see how far it goes. Oh, I see. It's it's not just a bike, it's one of those electric bikes. Those do actually cost like $2,500. I've looked into them before. Lily Love Stuff says, why, uh, why would he respect those rulings when he doesn't respect the Constitution? Says states have the right to write laws the Constitution doesn't cover. Yeah, it, I, I don't think they've thought it through that hard. Those bikes do cost $2,500, though. I've literally looked at that exact model of bike. It has the rack on the back, so if you go get groceries or whatever, you can, like, put them on the back. They sell baskets and stuff for it. They're kind of cool. I do like those bikes. <laughs> now I am curious, though, if he has that bike specifically because he doesn't have a license or something. Because these bikes are electric. They, they let you go, like, 20 miles an hour. Like, right below the... the it's basically the fastest you're illegally allowed to go before you need a driver's license to operate one. So I'm kind of curious <laughs> why he's using it. Who knows, though? So the objective here today, folks, is... Uh... If anyone's curious why, there was a time when my car was really broken. And I, I, I didn't want to deal with fixing it. And I was thinking about getting one of these. I don't know. I still think they're cool. I think they're neat. But not $2,500 neat for me. We are inspecting records relevant to my family court case, which those clerks in there have been obstructing for months. Wait until you see the emails I dump online for you guys to read. You got the, uh, the chief clerk. Uh, what is his name? The chief clerk, Big Fatty. He's forged his name forged his signature as someone else's signature in email correspondence to me. He's, he's corresponding to me in email with the name of a retired clerk and telling me why I'm not getting my records. 
On June the 3rd, it came down to this courthouse to physically pick... Sankalev, thanks for gifting two tier one subs. ...up the records that were prepared for me by the head custodian of records, uh, Sharon Rosado. She emailed me, told me that they were physically here, physically prepared, and ready to be picked up. So, what do we do? We come here. We go to physically pick up those records, and what do the lying clerks who were abusing their power and playing charades with the people say? Oh, there's nothing here for you to pick up. Nothing's been prepared. You haven't filled out any paperwork. The judge never even granted a, a waiver fee. We don't have any of that on record. Well, they should, because all of that stuff happened. Is this seriously him being super pissed off that the court didn't prepare documents correctly? Like, that sucks, and I've had that issue too. For instance, I, during my uh, legal name change, had to have fingerprinting done at the sheriff's office, which had to be sent to um, the courthouse and a copy to the FBI for a background check. Then the uh, files, the background check that was sent from the FBI to the courthouse. Some documents got lost along the way. Courthouse document keeping is a big clusterfuck. Like, it sucked and I was really upset at the time, but like, yeah, they're dealing with a lot of documents. Um, it's not good, but it happens. Things slip through the cracks and you gotta deal with it like an adult and not cry conspiracy every time someone loses documents that you're supposed to get. You're allowed to be frustrated. That's fine. It's frustrating, but acting like it's a conspiracy against you anytime something happens to you, that's not a healthy mentality or in line with reality. Tea with Goblin says there's a special place in hell for people who self-righteously consider themselves, quote, free thinkers and rebels, but then proceed to act as if nobody else in the world could possibly have any sort of agency. Uh, typically, people obey public safety rules because they're considerate, not because they're robots, you absolute muppet. And then Robert Morley, thanks for gifting 10 tier 1 subs to the community. Again, you're always so generous. Thank you so much. You like when I say wowzers. Wowzers. <laughs> And instead of giving me my records that day, they decided to call the Connecticut State Police on me. Gee, imagine that. So I'm just going to go inside and start recording as soon as the police come here, who I've already called and put on notice. I will upload the static recording of the uh, phone call to Connecticut State Police. Yeah. So here we go. Inconvening my life. This is uh, 69 Brooklyn Street. This is the Rockville Family Court. Nice. Courthouse located on. Is Robert Morley secretly an oil baron? Nope. Lawyer. On 69 Brooklyn Street in, in Vernon, Rockville, Connecticut. Put on notice on bingo? Yep. Connecticut. I don't know if they call it Rockville or Vernon, but uh, it's one of the two. We're located at 69 Brooklyn Street. Speaking of which, I did get your email, uh, Robert Morley. I would be interested in having you on sometime to talk about this stuff because you are a lawyer. So we'll set something up for the future. And these egregious marshals are breaking our laws and violating my rights. Right? All right, so we're going to let it pan out. We're going to gain access to the building. We're going to put the clerks on notice and film them. We are going to use the computer database and obtain public record. And uh, we're going to file federal court cases at the Second Circuit Court in Connecticut. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's won zero of these cases that he's tried to bring against people so far. Just if we're keeping score. The confidence level versus his success rate is just, the ratio is insane. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, these, these idiots just need to be educated. That's the problem here. They need to be educated. Who did you vote for in the last election again? Ah, yes, I remember. I've seen your hat. We're, we're, we're living amongst a bunch of idiots who think they have authority over our lives. There's one right there. His name is Diaz. 
and there's his subservient onlooker who does nothing when her co-workers violate the rights of the citizens and break the laws. It makes her complicit in a crime. Complicit in a crime. So this courthouse is home to some of the most criminal judges in the state of Connecticut. The judges here, they don't even need a hearing or a statement or a witness or any sort of procedure to make rulings. They just make rulings out of thin air in this. Judges are allowed to make rulings. They're judges. It's in the name. Blackwing Hackety says, why are the so many D's in Edward Woodward's name? Because without them, he'd be Awar Wuwar, and that would be awful. <laughs> um, Lily Love Stuff says, I want the confidence of one of these white men. Like, if I had that confidence, I'd be unstoppable. See, it's a double-edged sword, though, because confidence is really good and it can help you succeed, but it can also make you an asshole. <laughs> and you don't want to be one of those. This courthouse. It's what they like to do best. And I'll tell you right now, uh, I'm not going to be waiting very much longer for the police before I go and just conduct my business. Oh, that'll go well. Yeah. I'll just walk in there and conduct my business anyway, because I know that I'm lawful in my actions. Incorrect. This guy's got no authority to stop me from lawful activities. I mean, he's a security guard at the courthouse. Pretty sure he does have the authority. Nobody does. <laughs> Nobody does. All right. They won't be judges very much longer. Judges can lose their immunity when they uh, operate outside of the procedural requirements, and that's exactly what these judges do. And how often has that happened, especially when concerning sovereign citizen frauditor types? Zero times? Blackwing Hackety says, what's the saying? To have the confidence of a mediocre white cishet man. Stone Corbell says, guess he's the king or something. Nick says, to quote Legal Eagle, the bailiff will tackle you. And Discordant Vol says, someone's getting a hold person spell. Uh, the case we have against them, uh, that which we've been building throughout our investigations, is pretty much a slam dunk. Hey, I sincerely appreciate that, John Smith. You know, I got a big family, and uh, this is how I'm choosing to try and support it. Uh, so, I mean, <laughs> charitable donations are absolutely always uh, sincerely appreciated and accepted. Um, if anyone is interested in making a charitable donation, you can go ahead and do that at paypal.me forward slash tyrant slayer studios. Or... You can PayPal me, and it won't go towards crime. How many people are you screwing over today, buddy? Yeah, a lot of people in foster care are molested, and it's all facilitated by the state. Holy non sequitur, Batman, what? So, let's see here. Hey, how much longer until the cops... You're on their way, so let's just yeah, go. well, I mean, I got a lot of business. I got to wrap with the mayor in a little while, and I can't be hanging around all day. Did you just say you have to wrap with the mayor a little while? Is this a 1990s made-for-TV after-school special? You gonna you gonna get up in your chair backwards and and connect with the kids? Come on, kids, it's time to rap about fire safety. Robert Morley says his case is a slam dunk, but he's e-bagging on YouTube and riding a bike to court in the winter. 
Hey, while you guys violate my rights. And I understand. And yeah, well, if you understand, then you would actually go get the law and read it and let me in the building, yeah, but you don't understand. understand. Yeah. Well, they don't have much longer before I come in. <laughs> Mark my words, pal. Yeah. And if you Media touch me, I'll says, here's some bits to put towards gay crime. I'll be charged with assault. Yeah. Abuse of power, deprivation of rights under the color of law, Title 18, Section 242. Rainy, thanks for following, court? by the way. Yeah. Look at the arrogance. The big fat schlep thinks he knows it all. <laughs> what does the person's weight have to do with anything? Sir, this is a publicly accessible area, right? This is publicly accessible. You, you've been sitting here for like seven minutes. How are you this impatient already? Blackwing Hackity says, be trans, throw hands. Well, I'm not on the side so of the secure the building, thing. I'm asking you nicely. Just bear with us. They're on their way. You I'm bearing with you. I'll stand here. You have to wait outside. I'll stand. He cannot handle being instructed in any way, shape, or form. These people have oppositional defiant disorder, I swear. I'm here. I'm not this I'm is publicly listen. accessible. I'm not I'm breaking any law by standing yes, here. Yes, you are. You can ask You're me. You're feeding the entranceway for everyone else to come in. You have to wait outside. I'll wait right here. Listen, you have to wait outside. I don't. This you, is you a ask public... You me to work with you. I'm right. working with you. Right. So can you... we see eye to eye, just wait outside till we resolve this? What is the purpose of me waiting outside? Because you can't be in the building recording. Well, I want to record what you guys are saying about me. You're, you're violate, we're not talking about you. violate my rights by not, not listening to me, by stepping outside. Section 217, constitutional law. Please. That's not a lawful order, because I'm not doing anything unlawful. <laughs> I like that he even cited something, and he was like, no. Mm. I didn't say it was a lawful order. Well, then I'm not violating your rights. It is. Step out. Come on, let's go. Please, please don't. Lady Necro says, hey, Hannah, why did the sovereign citizen cross the road? That's none of your business, and I'm free to travel on my way without being harassed. Am I being detained? Eh. Blackwing Hackity says he's just asking to be soul jarred. Let's go. We're asking you nicely. And I'm, we're asking and I'm nicely declining we're, your we're request. Nicely. You can wait all the way outside. You have your First Amendment right to report outside. I have my First we're Amendment. It applies in all publicly accessible me, areas. Sir. Please don't touch me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. The First me. Amendment applies to. You're blocking my to... post, sir. Excuse oh, this is your post. Yep. Oh, okay. Excuse well, me. Look at this, folks. Excuse look at this. Me. You know you're live on the internet. This Excuse is. Uh, me. What's your name? Excuse me. What's your name? My name is Timothy Riley. Yes. Tea with Goblin says, sir, you can't film here, but I wanna. What's your name? Excuse me. Yeah, this is DS, and this is shit for brains. That's what we'll call him. What's your name, sir? You're gonna let this guy assault me? That makes you complicit in a crime. Excuse me, sir. Are you gonna I'm allow this to continue, ma'am? Are you gonna allow He's fucking walking around acting like he's George Floyd with like a knee on his neck. No, you're just being asked to wait outside for five more minutes. Allow these guys to act this. Maps and Mimic says, I'm so glad my dumbass uncle can't work uh, Facebook live because he'd be doing this probably while carrying a firearm if he could. Oh, that'd end well for him. Play. So that makes you complicit in a crime. Yeah. Moo Moo Bagoda. Look at these guys. Look at them. How did you guys even get this job when you're so ignorant to the law? Is he wearing the MAGA hat during this too? I didn't see in the reflection. Yeah. We're not, not that he's not allowed to wear it. I just think it'd be funny that he constantly goes around and proves every negative stereotype about Trump supporters right at every turn. Backing down off of this. We're getting the records that prove that this courthouse is breaking the law. And they can call the police and restrict my access all they want, but it's going to happen. Anarchist Weasel, thanks for following. <laughs> he thinks he's intimidating, it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> These people are out of control. This is what tyranny looks like. You're blocked. If this is what you think tyranny looks like, you have lived the easiest life you could possibly live. Fucking my post. Hey, please go wait in the, in the, oh god, what's that called? The part between, like, the, the actual front entrance and the actual building? Go wait in the, that area. This is tyranny! <laughs> Vestibule, 
foyer. I don't know. Those do those don't sound right. Annex. I don't know. Let's call it an annex. Hey, you're not in your post. Where's that guy? Hey, where's our guard for his post? He's not at his post. Is he a wall? Yeah, just close the door. I'll stand wherever I want in public. Thank you. I'm fine here. <laughs> What's up, soy? New England truth. Ex donator. Azanja. <laughs> Trans vestibule. Fun mm. bad man. Fuck the SS. Nathaniel Marginal. Steinborn. Mass citizen. Free me, free me. Seth Black. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Please smash that like button for me. Share the link to this video. Um, let all your friends and family know about the, uh, the, the prevalent presence of tyranny here at uh, 69 Brooklyn Street. Nice. The uh, Rockville Family Courthouse. You've got, th I think I counted four completely ignorant, uneducated, unintelligent stooges of the state here. No updates on Glenn. No. Glenn Serio, the frauditor guy who got arrested. No. I haven't heard anything. Blackwing Hackety says, I think it's technically a vestibule, but I call them airlocks. <laughs> Tea with Goblin says, is the trans vestibule the specialized med bed for trans non-binary folks? I wish. Go in it and it just makes your body whatever you want it to be. <laughs> doing absolutely nothing except violating people's rights. How does it make you feel? This is where your hard-earned tax dollars are going. To that, right there. Look at them, standing there doing nothing all day long. <laughs> Losers. Projection. Nick says, he's at a family courthouse. Does that mean family court? Because if so, holy shit, this could get so yikes. Yeah, I, I think he's at a family court. This is probably something in relation to his kid. I know he, he was in a custody dispute for a while. Eventually, he had his kid taken away and uh, given to the mother. Um, so, I, I don't know what point in time this is. I'm guessing it has something to do with that. Losers. Oh, sir, you can't come in and thus the police tell tell us it's okay. Oh, the police are your lawyers? The police know the law? You think the police know what the laws are? Do you think the police know the Constitution? <laughs> um, Blackwing Hackety says, so they're losers because you're jealous of their cushy government job. Got it. That stubborn thing they take that stubborn oath to? Do you think the Connecticut State Police know what it means and what it says and how to uphold their oath? We're going to find out here at Tyrant Slayer Studios today. Roy Smith. Yeah, that's the, that's the, uh, the Pimp Mac Daddy's name there. Roy Smith, Chief Clerk. Did he just say Pimp Mac Daddy? <sighs> Chief Master Forger and Operator of Illegal Activities here at 69 Brooklyn Street. Rockville, Connecticut. Chief Tubbs, Roy Smith. Tubby, that's what we're going to call him. Got him? <laughs> Tubby. Thinks he can forge a retired state worker's name, forge a, uh, a case flow coordinator's name, and pretend that she's the one corresponding with me. <laughs> while he denies access to public record and obstructs my ability to, to uh, 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 defend myself and my daughter, obstructs my right to due process. How long ago was this video? Three months ago? Oh God, this wasn't even that long ago. <laughs> I think this was after his kid got taken away from him. Uh, Tea with Goblin says, imagine that family court judges and staff are quite often the targets of, uh, drongos like this guy. Shitty sovereign citizen parents lose custody of their kids and decide that some poor clerk is responsible for, quote, destroying their family. Yeah, a lot of bad parents get involved with the sovereign citizen stuff. Sometimes it's a chicken or the egg thing, which came first. But yes, yeah, sovereign citizens have a big problem with getting their kids taken away. Um, and then, of course, they do stuff like this. Doesn't go well. 
Blackwing Hecate says, does this even rise to the level of ad hom? I, I, you know, I'm going to say yeah, but it's not even good ad hom. Maps and Mimic says, street address includes 69. Nice. Endangering the life of a minor child. Yep. There's another schlep. Just some random guy walking by, insult him too. That makes you look very, very secure. <laughs> yeah. What's this guy's latest video? Mostly, he does a lot of, like, interviews now with other sovereign citizen types. Um, like this. He does little Zoom calls and talks with other people in this little safe... <laughs> safe space where they all like feed off each other's nonsense um he doesn't do quite as much auditing anymore though two weeks ago he has this one so he is still doing it just not as often you know what i could do is i could just put this in my bag and then uh take it out once i get past the the guards i think i'll do that too I think I'll do that if they keep me waiting here much longer. Uh, Innocuous Blonde says, Stuff like this makes me glad my dad is retired from working at Social Security. That job was stressful enough without this new flavor of jackassery. Yeah. I'm getting sick and tired of waiting. He's not wearing the MAGA hat this time, by the way. It looks like he's wearing some kind of flat cap in the reflection. Maybe I could call the police and have the marshal charged with assault. How about that? Good luck. I wonder what happened to Wanzik. Did he lose his job or did he get transferred to another uh, station where he violates his people's rights there? You yeah, know? No one knows. How long has he been waiting? 15 minutes. I assume he's pretty low on the priority list for the cops. Look at this brown noser. <laughs> Again, just some random guy in a suit in the courthouse. Might be a lawyer. Might just be someone else who works there. Let's just insult him for no reason. Look at him. Look at this guy in a suit in a building. Oh... <laughs> So, the police are on their way. Connecticut State Police are on their way. Does he expect someone to respond to him? He's probably talking to chat. This was a live stream. Like, the chat replay, I think, is down here. You can see the chat replay. So, there are people talking to him through text. Evidently, the call I made to put them on notice, uh, requesting that they advise these idiots of the law, uh, wasn't enough. Oh, it looks like they're all going to get schooled now. What's the matter? Are you guys going to go get schooled? Going to go get educated? Woohoo! I doubt it. Yeah, then you're going to get out of my way. Idiots. <laughs> looks like something's happening here. Something is happening here. Hopefully the supervisor knows what's going on and uh, makes them aware of what our laws are and uh, allows me to exercise my rights unobstructed because that's the purpose of today's... I need you to leave. I'm sorry? I need you to leave. Oh. <laughs> he thought that they were going to come and be like, we're so sorry, sir. <laughs> no, nope, you're being ejected from the building. Why, why am I you're being recording. asked to leave? Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm guessing he's getting arrested. What are you doing? You're reporting. So what? I'm on public property. It's my right. You're not just breached the building and you're violating. I'm violence. waiting for police. You're in custody, sir. <laughs> he gets arrested. Put your hands back. No, I'm waiting Put for your the hands back. <laughs> No. You don't have any authority over me, have you? Big ups to the cop or the security guard who happened to get him on the ground on camera. That was good. I would have been unsatisfying if we didn't see it. 
fucking any law. Arrested on the bingo card? Yes. Yeah, you violated law. Violated I law. haven't violated. You have violated the law. <laughs> halt! You violated the law. Robert Morley says two bagels were walking down the street, and one of them was assaulted. Eh, okay. <laughs> Bittergrin says that was very satisfying. Did chat respond? Let's see what chat says. <laughs> uh, chat is saying, uh, like, holy F, WTF, D uh, 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 pigs, WTF, damn, uh, call now. They're probably trying to get the police called on these security guards or sheriffs. I guess I don't know. They might be, a lot of sheriffs work at the courthouse, so they might be sheriffs, deputies. Courtings are not allowed in I'm gonna publicly. <laughs> yeah, he he deserved that one. Again, I I still think the use of force is generally excessive, but for him, I gotta imagine he was not gonna go quietly. So, you know, you know. Did he do a video right after that? I'm actually curious. Let's see. Where was the three? Okay. So there was that one. My false arrest review updates Q and A. Nick says all that foreplay to lead to an explosive conclusion. Ara ara. Hmm. Uh, Mike Taylor, Acura, Amanda, Attica. Oh God, do you have the wrong mic selected? Jesus. Into the house. Wait, does your oh. mic just sound that bad? Three and other charges. Now Honeywell started. Oh my God! Why does his mic sound that bad? Try to. Throw... Thirty-two. Want to go to federal court? To a great start. We got more round number one and more round number two over here. <laughs> yeah, he sounds that bad the whole time. I'm not watching that just because of the mic quality. Imagine getting arrested on your own stream. Yeah, I'm gonna try and avoid that. Doesn't look very fun. <laughs> so that's what. Uh... Tyrant Slayer's been up to. Fun. Princess Amelia says, I'm going to wait for the police. They'll show you. Police arrive. You're under arrest. Shocked Pikachu face. <sighs> what is this one? What's going on, Bay Fam? It's your boy, Bay Area Transparency, and we're back at it once again. Today, we're in the city of Concord, California, at the California State Parole Office. The date is September 22nd, 2021, and that date's important because on September 21st, 2021, I was at the California State Parole Office in San Jose. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's getting a ton of views right now. It's That's interesting. I wonder why the parole office... Call Stop Grabbing Me. In this video, I didn't want to release it or I was a little bit reserved to release it because it's definitely mentally damaging to me. I did spend the night in the emergency room after this video, just so everybody knows. I'm choosing to release this video so we can expose the callousness of these people, okay? Not just the parole officers that are involved, but also the Concord City police officers that are involved. And you'll see what they did. My phone was taken from me and basically stolen, and I was kept there for 30 to 35 minutes and continuously threatened. That's all I can say about that part. I thought he was going to say hours. 30 to 35 minutes? That's not very long. Part of it. I feel like if there's ever a video that I have done that is nationally new. He's just filming everyone's license plates. Worthy. It's this video right here. Let's go ahead. You're getting hardcore Henry flashbacks. I saw that movie. It was entertaining once. I don't think I need to see it again. And share this video. Get this out there and push for accountability on this video. I didn't know if I wanted to share this on YouTube like this or just run it through the court system and let it take its course. But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and share it. On the screen right now is an email I received from the individual from Eternal Affairs, California Department of Correction. Let's see, it says, Good afternoon, I'm currently conducting a criminal investigation regarding the actions of two of our employees. The case involves an interaction between an unidentified male on your staff and two parole agents at the uh, Contra Costa Police or Parole Office on September 22nd, 2021. I'm requesting to interview the staff member who was involved in the incident. Please contact me by email 
or the phone number below if you have any questions. Okay. Who's investigating this incident? That's all I'm gonna say. The camera work feels like an early 2000s underground rap video. Area of transparency. Let's watch the video. It's like they got cameras everywhere around here. I'm gonna get to where he starts interacting with the pol parole people. Stop helping me! All right, we got contact. What? Camera. Yeah, I got a camera. State property. Camera. Public property. State Don't property. touch my camera. You cannot do cars You cannot here. touch my camera. Call. This is public Call property, sir. You're private, a parole agent. Vehicles. You can't grab me. Private you can't grab me. No! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this escalated so quickly. <laughs> I think this guy's an asshole, but I'd agree. This escalated way too quickly. They didn't try and de-escalate this at all. Ow! Let it go. Ow! I can't do that. Why are you choking me? <sighs> Stop choking me. Stop choking me. Stop choking me. You're a parole agent. You can't grab me like that. Get off me. What's wrong with you? You can't grab me like that. Grab me to the ground. Get my glasses back. Back up. I'm trying to grab my glasses. I'm grabbing my glasses. You'll get it there. Do you understand? Grabbing my glasses. Do you understand? You'll get it there. I'm not trying to fight you. If you don't come to the fight, I'm not trying to fight you. Back here, put your hands on me. Where's my glasses? Back here, I'm not fighting you. Get out of here. I'm not trying to fight you. Stop fighting the wall. Call the TV. Give my glasses. Some of my phone. You can't just take my stuff. You're a parole agent. You ain't even a cop. Anyone else remember the PBS show 321 Contact? I don't. I'm gonna get to where the thing's out of the pocket so it's not so scratchy. Sorry. Okay. No, no, I need her name. I need her name. This bitch tackled me and choked me. Okay, Bay fam, let me go ahead and stop that right there. As we all know, I try very, very hard not to call names, be antagonistic, and try to be very peaceful when I'm in these situations and in these encounters. But based off of what just happened to me, everything was going crazy in the situation. And I ended up calling that lady a name. I do apologize. I try never to do that. But, I mean, <laughs> look what happened. I mean, that's all I can say. Nick says she tackled you and choked you. Usually you gotta pay for that. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, the parole officers, I agree. They, they behaved uh, unreasonably. But if you go around filming people's license plates, again, I'm not justifying what they did. And here's the, here's the but. <laughs> but, you go around filming people's license plates, eventually someone's not going to like that. Just saying. I do hope this whole incident was investigated. Fairly. Blackwing Hackety says, might be a bit before your time, Hannah. Yeah, probably. Let's get back to the video. She tackled me and choked me. What's your name? This is open to the public. It's open. Yes, I can. It's open to the public. Am I being detained? Am I be Then it's open to the public. I need her name. No, no, I don't care. I don't have to listen to nothing you say. What's your name? Name? Name. Okay. What's your name? Name? Okay. These, these, and this is the one that slammed me and choked me right here. Right. Yes, you slammed me you and choked me. I can. I'm not detained. I can walk up anywhere. I'm not doing nothing. You guys say. Well, shut the door. Lock the door. Oh no, no. I can go in. This is open to the public. Slam me and choked me. This is not. This is open to the public. There's public information right here. He actually wasn't even necessarily wrong. And I mean, I think he was initially wrong for like going up and being an asshole and recording these people's license plates. But then they came in, escalated the situation, and made it so much worse, he was actually in a position where he could, like, 
ideally showed this to the cops and like be like this is ridiculous i might not have been behaving correctly but their reaction was ridiculous which i don't disagree with but instead of using that to his advantage to actually try and be like they had actual misconduct he's continuing to be an asshole and making himself look wrong in this situation here you see the police aren't doing nothing you idiot dude you can't slam me until they walk right up to no, no, no. What we're doing is, he needs to be in handcuffs. I have the film. I'll show it to you. He walked right up to me, slammed me, and choked me. That's it. I'm gonna talk to you outside. That's it. No, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna film. Then we're gonna, then we're gonna get up on out here, okay? There's nothing more for us to do here. Uh, I'll file the paperwork. You're saying there's nothing more for you to do? What'd they tell you? What'd they tell you? They didn't tell you? Well, then... Poetic Fox says, Hey, Hannah, what's your take on the Tank Girl movie? So bad, it's good or just bad? I haven't seen it. Go do your job and then talk to me. Well, you came in here and then he went back there. <laughs> it don't... They've been holding me and my phone for an hour. They ripped my glasses off my face. They're probably all scratched up. They slammed me to the ground, fucking choked me. Okay. Didn't even say a word to me. Walked right up, slammed me, choked me. Boom, that's it. They said, what are you doing? I said, hey, I could do this. I was on the ground. That's it. Okay. Started pulling out pepper spray, threatening to beat me up. Yeah, it's, and it's all on camera back there. Okay. So let's get him, right? You slammed me and choked me. Is that correct? Come on, let's get his side. Yep. You see how I can do this now? You see how I can do this? You see how I can do this? Do you see how I can do this now? This dude needs to be gone. Calif that parole officer does seem like a complete asshole. Nick says, anyone remember zoo books? I had zoo books. I had one on elephants. State parole. What about Buckaroo Banzai? I like Buckaroo Banzai. No matter where you go. There you are. Well, this guy needs to be gone. This is Robinson. He needs to be gone. This guy had just assaulted the shit out of him. Yeah, that, that parole officer has anger issues he should not be dealing with the public i don't disagree <laughs> all right let's find a different one god damn it stevie wonder Everyone had the Elephant Zoo books because that was the free sample, was it? Oh, that's cool. I guess I didn't know that. Hey, how are you, sir? Okay. All right, how about you? We have a free speech zone for like, you know, with your, with your advertising or whatever here. Uh -huh. we'll stand right over in this area here, if you would do that there. Stay um, over there in that area and not walk up and down there. That doesn't work for me. Well, it's not my... It uh, doesn't work for you. What do you mean it doesn't work for you? This is a private place. Regardless of how you feel about it, time and place restrictions on uh, free speech related activities, I'm pretty sure have been upheld by the Supreme Court. It's the same stuff that, um, for instance, makes it so like Westboro Baptist Church, they can protest like funerals of dead soldiers, but they have to do it a certain amount away from uh, the actual funeral, stuff like that, if it's so decided by the city or whoever. Um, so again, regardless of how you feel about it, I'm not having a philosophical discussion about First Amendment limitations, but that is a thing. This is not a private place. All right, sir. I'm not going to argue with you about it, please. Okay. I'm not going to argue with you about it either. Okay. Well, I'll have I'll have somebody else. All right. God bless you, sir. Oh, yeah. You can. Okay. As long as you don't block them, okay? Excuse me. I do. Hey, it's my job is to do my job. All right. This is not your job. Hey, this is. Don't block any patrons. All right. Do you hear what I said? Can you go stand in the free speech zone? Can you blow it out your ass? Can I blow it out my ass? Yeah, can you? Why are you being such a jerk? I'm a because I am. I'm a jerk. I'm You're a an jerk. Ass. What's your name? I, I'm not telling you my name. Because you won't be working security here much longer. I don't care. I don't need it. I'm I'm doing this. Yeah, obviously, you don't need it. I don't, I don't. You don't need I to don't act like a jerk. All I'm doing is saying God bless the homeless veterans. So piss off. Piss off you, buddy. Bye bye. Piss off. Yeah. Blow out your ass. In your best interest to go piss off. 
Oh yeah? It would be your best interest to get it this is? off. Okay. Yes. Why? You touch me? Yeah, this is a farmer's market. He's arguing with a security guard at a farmer's market. And you will go to jail. It would be in your best interest to go. Now I want to go to a farmer's market. Okay, so I'm telling you, you touch me, you're going to jail. I'm not touching you. Baja, is there a farmer's market near here? Like in the spring or summer? If you do, I'm, I'm just saying. telling you, it's your I'm best interest. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. Are you challenging me to touch I'm you? I'm not telling you. No, I'm not. I'm just letting you know. All right. True facts. We should go to the farmer's market when it opens. All right. What's your name? I'm not telling you. You will? I will find out. I don't care. All right. I'll find out. But I'm not, you're not getting it from me. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I'm hard of hearing. I said, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you can't like stand here with a sign. Um, you're going to take it somewhere else. Like, if you want to take it across the street, you can. You just you can't stand right here in front of the building. Okay, I got a better idea. I want you to take it across the street. I can't. No, not across. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. You're, you're wrong, but that's okay. I mean, if it's private property, they can ask you to leave and then you'll be trespassed. That's how that works. Oh, I am hungry. Uh, Tea with Goblin says, I'm not sure how much experience you have with small children. Not much. Um, but he reminds me of interactions I've had with three to five year olds. Hey buddy, it's time to put the Lego away and get ready for bed. Uh, no, I'm gonna keep playing. Thank you. No, sweetie, it's bedtime. No, it's not. That's an understandable when a kid, that's understandable when a kid does it. But when it's a grown man with a persecution complex does it, it's just pathetic. I'm telling you. Oppositional Defiant Disorder. Look it up. <laughs> a lot of people seem to have it, unfortunately. Oh, this is real bad. This guy... It's its one thing to, to screw with cops, which you also shouldn't do, because cops are not one to take things uh, gently. I wouldn't recommend it. A whole other level of bad decision-making is if you decide to... Screw with Border Patrol. United States Border Patrol are... How do I put this? In my opinion, the kind of person who signs up for Border Patrol is the kind of person who thought becoming a cop wouldn't give them enough opportunities to hurt people. <laughs> so... I would not... I would not recommend interacting with Border Patrol at any point, much less intentionally antagonizing them. Here he is filming Border Patrol's vehicle. Looks like a four-wheeler or something. Uh, this guy does get tased, I believe, by the way. It's so just so everyone's aware. Oh, there's a like. Uh, interestingly, this video has multiple angles. Can I help you? Hey, get the light on my eyes. What's up? Get the light on my eyes. Can I help you? Huh? Can I help you? With what? What is that back? What is that back? Why? What is that bike? Get away from that bike. What are you doing on that bike? Can't you see what I'm doing or what? Get back over there. Why? Get away from, what are you doing on the bike? I'm taking pictures. Can't you see or what? Go ahead and step back over there. No, I'm not. Go ahead and step back. No, why? Go ahead and step back. Why? Go ahead and step back. Why? What are you doing to the bike? This is public property. That's fine. What were you doing to the bike? I'm taking okay, pictures. You're fixing to be detained is what's, what's going to happen. Why? Bless your arm. Huh? It doesn't matter. What are you doing on the bike? I'm taking pictures. Can you see or what? What is that over there? No, I'm not. What is that over there? I'm not going to. I'm not. Okay, let me get a super over there. Right there. Get the light out of my eyes, eyes, man. Put your car wheels on one of the ATVs. Get the light out of my eyes. Hey, get back from me. No, I'm not going to get back. Get back from me. I'm not going to get back. I'm not gonna get back. You better get back. You're not gonna get, I'm not gonna get back. You better get back. No, I'm not gonna get back. Guys, yeah, give me some units for the rest of the I got a subject to uh, one of the HCVs. Uh, subject's armed. He's got a pistol. Did he just say subject's armed has a pistol? Hold on. Uh, subject's armed. He's got a pistol. Okay, so not only is he screwing with Border Patrol, he's doing so well armed with a pistol. He's lucky he only gets taste. <laughs> Which again, 
I'm not saying is right or wrong. I'm just saying facts. Border Patrol will shoot you in the back. Vast Lunacy says, my favorite cop question, by which I mean feared, uh, is can I help you? It always carries an undercurrent of oncoming danger. Adia Blue says, I volunteer as gate management at Ottawa's Blue Fest, not security. They're around. I can tell you stories, but nothing like any of this has happened. You'd be surprised what a pack of teens will try, though. Get back. Quit shining the light in my eyes. You, I can shine the light on your eyes. You can. I'm investigating you. You're up on one Not of our Not in my ATVs. eyes. You're gonna hurt you're my eyes. You're up on one of our ATVs. You're gonna hurt okay, my you're eyes. You're up on one of our ATVs. Cluster off and you're after suspicious. All right? What, what's suspicious about taking pictures? You're up on the ATV. That's a government-owned vehicle. What are you doing and? there? What are you doing That's there? my vehicle. That's not your vehicle. I'm taking pictures of my vehicle. vehicle. I pay for that vehicle. vehicle. It's not your vehicle. I pay for that vehicle. It doesn't matter. I'm asking doesn't you matter. Back. You better get back from me, man. I'm not going to get back. You better get back. You better get back. I'm not gonna show you anything. Did you get bingo or were you trying to do the bingo command? If you got bingo, let me see the card. Hey, what's your bottle, man? Idea? I'm not gonna show you anything. What's your bottle? Let's take a look. Where's the bingo? Oh, the middle's uh, free space. Uh, says they pay the police a salary. Pro se, I hold you personally liable. Yeah, that's a bingo. KBS, you win bingo. Is the person still here who said they'd gift a bingo to the winner? Wait, do you even need a bingo? You already have a bingo anyway, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, you win. Congrats. Oh, shoot. Where'd it go? There it is. Stop right there. I'm telling you to stop. Why? I'm telling you to stop. I'm Why? detaining you. Yeah, we're, we're doing the bingo for Sovereign ATVs. Citizens. Okay. Hydrate. You're Auto. fixing to make the situation real bad. Okay? You're fixing to Quit. make the situation real bad. Quit shining the light in my eyes, man. It doesn't. I'm telling you to stop. You're going to okay? hurt my eyes. I'm telling you to stop. Put your phone down. I'm not going to relax. Put, no. Okay? You are armed. Do you have a license to carry? Are you, are you Do you a, have a license to are carry? Are you a Texas man? It doesn't telling. matter. I'm telling Put your hands on the vehicle. You better, you better. Put your hands on the vehicle. I'm investigating you. Um, is messaging me on Twitter a bad way to reach out? That's probably the best way. Um, I get a lot. You'd be shocked at the amount of messages I get. Um, but I'd try and get to it eventually. If you send me a message request. You are up on one of our... Or if you, if I follow you on Twitter, you can just straight up DM me. If not, you can send me a message request and I'll take a look. Please. Okay. Then you need to relax. You better hold. You better hold. You need to relax. You need to relax and you need to listen to instructions, okay? I'm a federal agent and I'm investigating you and I'm detaining you. You understand? I don't, what are you doing on the ATV? Okay, put your phone down. Put your phone down. Put your phone down. And I'm going to take that weapon off of you. Bro, you're going to get tased, bro. You're going to get tased. You understand that? You're going to get tased, bro. <laughs> yeah. Investigate what you were doing on that ATV. I'm taking photos of that. That's how you were up on the ATV. I know. Okay? I'm taking photos. Plus you're armed. I have everything here. And you're armed. Is you're it armed with a weapon. Is it illegal to be armed in what Texas? What are you doing? We're in Texas. What are you doing on the government-owned vehicle on an ATV? I'm taking okay? photos. And I'm asking you to relax. We're going to ID you. Okay? You're not going to ID me. I'm going to ID you, bro. You're not. All right, bro. This is fixing to get real bad, bro. Why? This is fixing to get real bad for you. Why? You understand that? It's fixing to get real bad for you. Why? Put your phone down. You're gonna you're gonna get tased, man. Why am I getting tased? Put your phone on the car. Relax and listen to instructions. Do you feel safe? Andy Pretzel says, don't F with Border Patrol. If you thought cops are bad, these guys will bury you without even reporting you existed. Lily Love Stuff says, I missed who won bingo. Who won? Sorry, I'm working. It was let's see. KBS 666. KBS 6661. Um, Robert Morley says, 18 U.S.C. 111, obstruction of the duties of a federal officer. It won't end well. <laughs> uh, KBS says, I won. Gift the sub. Woo! Gift the sub randomly then.
say for you? You're gonna take my gun away? I do actually. Okay. I do. Okay. Put your hands on the vehicle. Uh, get, get my gun. Put your hands on the vehicle. No. My hands are Put your hands on the You're gonna get tased, bro. You're gonna get tased. Why am I? You're gonna get tased. I like the camera angle switches. I wish more of these Sovereign Citizen videos were like this. It's nice. So they were able to grab his firearm, it looks like. Um, Tea with Goblin says, Australian border cops are the worst because we're on an island. They have boat patrols around uh, the coast. They have been filmed on multiple occasions, intercepting rickety and overcrowded boats full of asylum seekers and towing them back out of Australian waters. It's not clear if they check for seaworthiness of the vessels before doing so. Some later crashed on reefs. Monstrous. Yeah, it's so gross. Lily loves stuff. Uh, Lily loves stuff. Thanks for gifting that sub. Maybe he doesn't get tased in this. I thought he did, but maybe he just gets arrested. I might be thinking of a different tase video. Because he's definitely getting arrested and he's already in custody. Unless he starts uh, resisting and they have to tase him. They took his hat off, they're talking to him, but, you know. Yeah, he's upset. He's arrested. In the description, you do not want to... <laughs> Absolutely nuts. Is it time to look at our, our good friend Glenn Serio? Again, he's not been coming out with new content because of the felony arrest he got. I believe that case is still ongoing, but in the meantime, we can take a look at some of his older stuff, so let's check it out. Ominously walking towards the Hobby Lobby. What a fudging creep. Oh God, look at him. It's not even a cop. This is like a, a mall cop type person. Yeah, Allied Universal Security Services. That's private security. Oh my God. Oh no, is it a woman too? Let me tell ya. Let me tell ya. Creepy guy like Glenn walks up to a woman, not a good time. Not good. That's gonna freak you the fuck out. That's gonna make you think, oh god, am I about to be assaulted by this disgusting man? Uh. Keizu the Incubus says, this is so entertaining to watch while drawing. Thanks for the great content. I hope your drawing is going well. She definitely has pepper spray too. Is he gonna film her playing, is that Candy Crush? I think she's playing Candy Crush. Wait, what is that? Kind of looks like a Nintendo Switch, but not quite. This is incredibly creepy. What the hell? Oh god, how long does this go on for? Is he just trying to ignore him? Oh, it's a Nintendo DS. It's a 3DS XL. <laughs> oh no! Is she just gonna call the police immediately? Hey, Glenn's here. Talking to either other security guards or the police. Filming the license plate. Oh, there's the cops. Here we go. She handled that really well. Didn't engage, just called the police. Because a lot of people engage with Glenn, and that's that's what he wants. That's what he's doing it for. Oh, 
yourself filming security. There's something we can help you with? Oh, he's just being creepy and silent. That's a good move. That's a pro strat. Glenn should be thrown in jail Will he, where he belongs. Good news! He's currently in jail, I think, for a, a, a Class C felony uh, uh, charge. The trial date's still coming up, I think. Or you're going to get arrested. You're on private property. And as the security guard, she has the right to trespass you, Glenn. You've been trespassed enough that you should understand the rules. Trespass me if you don't leave, so... Oh, I am? He says that the parking lot's only for customers. Are you a customer of something right now? How do you know right I'm now? not a customer? What are you a customer You're of? making up assumptions, assumptions, aren't you? Well, you're not going into any of the businesses. You don't know that. You're just filming for me. And if I could pull a record and I could prove you wrong, you, you'd lose your job. No, I wouldn't. You would lose your job. Go for it. Cops don't even lose their job when they kill people. She's not gonna lose her job for trespassing you, Glenn. Want a bet? Lose my job. Want a bet? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's look at the purpose of the other. Why are you worried about it? Okay. Glenn, two words. Wind sock. Thank Why you are you worried me. about me? Because With the... she's calling 911. That's her problem. You should be talking to her about that. doesn't know that. That's that's an assumption. She's making an assumption. Well, unless you're gonna tell us that you're a customer, you need to leave. I don't have to tell you anything. I I I am. Oh, what just happened? <laughs> All of a sudden, it stopped being so weird. Am I being detained? No, you're free to leave. Okay. Leave. I'm free to leave. I'm free to stay. No. Yes. You need to. <laughs> that's how that works. You're trespassed. No. He got us. Look at the law again. So this is pub. Oh, he might have put his finger over the mic. It sounded better. He should put it back. Wait, no, it's private public because these are public. These are public places, right? They're private businesses. Yeah, no, these this is private property. Um, they are places of public accommodation, which is legally distinct from public. Like a public park is public, right? But a private property that allows people to come on to conduct business. That's a place of public accommodation. Different rules. Private businesses. So she's never asked me to leave. She's been sitting in her car the whole time. <laughs> they just need to officially say it for the trespass. How do you know I don't have business here? Well, it is 12.50 at night. Yeah? It's almost 1 a.m. Glenn has nothing to do at 1 a.m. other than harass people just sitting in their car, playing their 3DS, doing their security job. Jesus Christ, Glenn. So what and business are you going to? That gym's open 24 hours. Okay, are you going to the gym? That gym's open 24 hours. What? What now? What now? If you're going to the gym, yeah. go to the gym. Go Otherwise, the gym. you need to leave. I can be, I'm I'm free to stay. I can go you anywhere I want. Be on property. You cannot remove me from here. We can't. No, you cannot. Yes, they can. Glenn, you have been trespassed before. <laughs> Moira Soma says, I think we finally found someone as obnoxious as Nathan Thompson. Well done, Glenn. I don't want to, but I can. You can try. You can give it your best shot. Do you want to go to jail? Try it. Are you going to fight me? You can do what you want. You can say what is you that, want. Is that what you're saying? You're in the wrong. No, you're I'm 100 not. You're 100% in the no, wrong. I'm not. You are. We're trying to be reasonable with you. You're not being reasonable. Let's just there is nothing you can do. You can threaten me right, with jail. You can do whatever you want. Right, sir, have a good night. Oh, she was just threatening me with jail. She didn't this... threaten you with jail. I asked if you wanted to go to jail. Name and badge number. Officer Rambo, 8446. Rambo. Do you want a business card? No. Okay. How about yours? Hi, Weber, 7713. Okay. So I'm sure you know the law. Oh, I know so the law very well. I know the law very well. <laughs> so you understand trespassing is an arrestable offense. I'm not trespassing. You are trespassing. No, I'm not. 
You are trespassing, Glenn. They just don't want to take you in because they don't want to deal with the paperwork. <laughs> and you're probably going to get like a ticket or something, so it's not worth their time. I am not trespassing. Stop Glenn is such an ass. It says G-R-O, but for a second I thought it said Euro. Now I want a Euro. I assume they're just talking to her and being like, Hey, if he keeps doing this, call us. We'll come grab him. <laughs> and that's the end of that one, because I guess Glenn decided he had annoyed them enough. He's such an ass. I'm so glad he got arrested finally. Uh, Roland7 says, This is what I hate so much. Am I wrong? Uh, or do they get away with this stuff just from being a hassle? Actual peaceful protesters get dragged away, arrested, and sometimes killed. This sucks. Oh, I agree. It's a ridiculous double standard. <sighs> Glenn Serio Arraignment. This is Glenn Serio's arraignment that happened recently. It's not super entertaining because he doesn't really say anything. He has a lawyer. He's not one of those that tries to go uh, pro se. Or not pro se, sorry. Um, no, what the what the heck is my... Uh, 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 why am I blanking on the word? I use this word every single sovereign citizen. It's pro se. Oh, it is? Why did I think it wasn't then? That's weird too. Anyway, he, he does have a lawyer. they bumped it down from a class C felony to a misdemeanor. He's lucky. In jail, thousand dollars in fine. Uh, they refused to comply with the gross misdemeanor carries with it a maximum of 364 days in jail, five thousand dollar fine. I'm gonna accept your pleas of not guilty on both. Do you have any questions? Ooh, about he's going not guilty. PD. Oh, well, uh, public defender? That would make sense, I guess. Uh, I Office of the public defender, duh. With him about that. It's yeah. unclear to me. He does make, uh, he does work steadily. He's also responsible for um, child support of his 12-year-old son. Oh, no. Glenn has a kid. Um, but I'm I'm not sure where the cutoff line is. I believe he makes around $2,500 a month, so... 25 That's... 
that's both more and less than I would have thought considering his YouTube channel. It's more than I guess I would have expected, but honestly, how is he surviving working YouTube at $2,500 a month? Does he have another job, or... Huh. I would just add that he's given the opportunity to scream. Okay, he, he makes $2,500 a month and he pays, he pays Google and Okay, so 400 of his paycheck immediately goes to child support. So he's making like $2,100 a month before taxes. So $2,100 a month is like... It, it, it's a little... It's like $25,000 a year. That sucks. A little more than that, I know. I'm just doing a rough math. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's been living in his car for a while. Oof. I'm going to directly appoint the Public Defenders Association to represent this gentleman. If he chooses to hire a private attorney, that's fine. But I'm going to directly appoint now. Okay. So I yeah, he lives in... Wa he apparently lives in Washington. The police badges on the last video were Seattle. I think I know the answer to this. Question. Which is not a cheap area to live. Question, but let me ask the defense if it wants to be heard on probable cause on either of the offenses. Yeah, and I'm going to reserve on probable cause at this point. Okay. Um, I think there's a lot left to be desired um, in the police report, but I'll make the finding of probable cause for today's purposes, setting a bail in our conditions. Mr. Zacker, what are the city's requests today? Yeah, our city is not opposed to his release with standard court conditions. Uh, just standard court. I was trying to think if there are any other conditions that I was going to be requesting, but just the standard court conditions. Please. Not allowed to make YouTube videos. They actually probably, considering that's his main source of income, it probably wouldn't be fair to tell him he can't make YouTube videos. Maybe telling him to stop <laughs> trespassing. That might help. All I'm going to do, counsel, just so you know, is no criminal law violations. Do you have any objections to that? No, no. thank you. That covers it. That's good. Yeah. No wonder he hasn't been uploading. Basically, everything he does is going to get the cops called on him. That's not going to look good for his case. Okay. So, sir, while the case is pending, which is pretty easy for you, simply have no new criminal law violations, okay? And so what I've done, just so that you understand, I've directly appointed the Public Defenders Association to represent you. So you'll call the office in a couple of days. They'll tell you who the attorney is. And that can be your attorney for the duration of the case. If you choose that you want to hire a private attorney, that's your right. You can go and do that. That's fine with me. You don't have to do that. So it's totally up to you and what you want to do with that, okay? So I just want to make sure that you don't have to go through any sort of screening process. I've already done that for you, okay? So it's up to you on what you want to do going forward. Okay? All right, let me get this gentleman new court dates. Just give me a second. All right, so I am going to set this for March 1st, 9.30, in front of Judge Bowie. That'll be child confirmation with a March 9th at 8.30 trial date. And I signed this gentleman's release. Oh, that's today! That was today! <laughs> I wonder if there was a continuance or anything or if it actually happened. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Welcome. Alright, next is Gold. Does this person have anything new related to it? It'd be interesting. Just animated loops. <laughs> That's interesting. Let's see. On the fourth, he had something. Oh my god. Uh, any other matters that are ready? Mr. Jones? Good morning, Your Honor. Michael Jones appearing on behalf of Mr. Serio. We're just here to report. It's on for review, but he's got cases on it. We've been awaiting for some time. We just expect it to be continued again. And he's he's present, but he's not present in court. He's at work. He Every time he misses a day of work, he gets laid off. Okay. And, All right, so I'm sorry. You're asking to continue these cases? Yes. Okay, so it's being continued because he has to go to work. I guess he does have a day job outside of YouTube. 
Okay. How far out? Well, a ways out. It's going to take a while to get him to everything else settled up. So I don't want to keep coming back over and over. It's okay. Just time on the calendar for the court. But. All right. So it's my understanding that the issue in these matters is he's done everything except that he has new charges out of district court, correct? Yes, he has cases pending that we're waiting to, for a re resolution of. Um, oh, so is even he has other charges as well that weren't listed in that arraignment? According to the dockets on those, he's set for trial next week. And that is the city's understanding as well, Your Honor. We've been in contact with his attorney in those matters, and they're hoping to reach a, a global resolution in the next week before it goes to trial. So we okay. have no objection. Is a global resolution a settlement? Is Robert Morley still here? I'm assuming global resolution basically means a settlement. To continuing. All right. Well, it doesn't sound like we need to continue it very long since it should be potentially resolved next week. Um, well, yeah, okay. I would like to see that, but I'm not very hopeful, Your Honor. But in, in any event, whatever fits the court schedule. Well, I'm willing to set it out four weeks, I guess, in the event that things change. Um, any objection to that as long no as I extend jurisdiction? All right. So we'll note that Mr. Serio is appearing through counsel today. Um, I'll set it out four weeks, and that'll be April 1st. At 8.30, Mr. Jones, does that work for you? Friday the 1st at 8.30? I believe so, yes. Sure. Okay, so we'll give, uh, so that'll be the date, and then um, I'll extend jurisdiction until then. And I'll notify him and make sure he's aware and okay. is available. All right, sounds good. I appreciate it, Shunner. You have a good week. Thank you, Weekend. you too. Thank you. So it got continued out to the 1st. Um, I'll keep an eye on that. I I'm sure... I don't know how entertaining it'll be, but I am trying to keep up to date on the Glenn thing because he's so interesting and I didn't find out about him until the arrest, which is a shame. I wonder how long, if he gets, either way, I, I think the charges are just misdemeanors and he's, I guess, pleading out anyway based on the talk about a global resolution. So if he does plead out, he probably won't deal with very much. Um, might even just get like time served um, and maybe a fine or something. I wonder if he's going to go back to doing the YouTube thing or if he's going to try and keep his nose clean for a while. Either way, it's interesting. H. Baird says, global resolution? What about a flat earth resolution? But um, -tsh. Don't for me. Anyway, the police stop him for an illegal license plate border and for an illegal lane change. The driver claims he was stopped because he flipped the cop off. Either way, he makes things way worse for himself by refusing to identify and then refusing to exit the vehicle. Let's get into the video. How you doing? My name is Deputy Greer. Yes, Greer County Sheriff's What's the reason Office. you stopped me for? Yep, the reason I stopped you is because you have an illegal tag border and you also made an illegal lane change on White Horse Road back there. No, I did not. Give me your license, registration, insurance. What is going on with the camera that it's so like blah, 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 blah. It's like there's a weird filter on it or something. Let me make these subtitles bigger real quick. God, the size difference is so weird. YouTube's glitching out on me about the subtitles. Please. No, I did not. Give me a license, registration, insurance, please. That, that's not the reason you pulled me over. That is the reason I pulled you. Cop shouldn't pull you over for flipping them off? I agree they shouldn't, but that's not what the cop said he did. And I'm gonna tend not to believe a sovereign citizen. They're liars. I'm not saying I'm gonna trust a cop inherently, because I don't necessarily, but I would believe the cop in this situation over the sovereign citizen, because sovereign citizens are dishonest. You over. I Poetic Fox says, this is my area, White Horse RD, or road. <laughs> Did not know make an illegal lane. Give me your license registration. I had my lights on. Please. No. Okay. You know I did not do nothing illegal. Okay. And you probably stopped me over because I had uh, my, I had Charlie, flipped you off, that's why. Charlie. You can give me your license, registration, and insurance, and this is go can go easy. Sir, for what? You pulled me you over because I, I yeah. flicked the middle finger to you? No, I pulled you over because you have an illegal tag. This coordinate vol says size difference, ubu. Border. Sir, no, and I do you not. Made legal turn, yes. When no, you came I do off not. The Saluda Dam, when you came off of Saluda Dam Road right there mm -hmm. and crossed over to West Marion, 
You went across all three lanes of traffic. That is. Easy. I had my I had my signal okay. on. It doesn't matter if you have your signal on. You can't just cross all the way three lanes of traffic like that. Sir, the the lane was clear. So can you give me your license registration? And Sir, I did nothing please? wrong. License registration and insurance, please. I did nothing wrong. You know I did nothing wrong. Hey, I'm simple. You know I did nothing wrong, sir. He's just refusing to provide any Stop. information. You really gonna violate my rights? I did nothing no. wrong. I have probable cause and pulled you over for a traffic stop, which means you have to give me your license, registration, and insurance. Sir, I did not. I did not do no yes, nothing you illegal. You're accusing me of doing that? You can. You can come look at your tag right now and show that it's illegal. You can't have a tag border. I've driven. I've driven with that plenty of times. I don't care what you've driven with it plenty of times. What? It's illegal. According to Section 56.3.12.40 of the South Carolina State Code, motorists are prohibited from displaying any type of tag, sign, monogram, tinted cover or inscription of metal or other material above, around or upon the plate other than those issued by the South Carolina DMV. So this, along with the illegal lane change, does appear to give the officer probable cause for the stop. So the driver is legally obliged to identify himself and take the ticket and fight it in court. 100%. This is the first time me getting pulled over for that? Your license, registration, no, sir, answer. you know you know I did nothing wrong, sir. If you sir. don't, you're gonna go to jail. Sir, you know I did nothing wrong. Okay, you can go the easy way or the hard way. You can give me your information. So you're gonna threaten you me? Go to jail. You're gonna threaten me? You can give me your information or you can go to jail. You know I did nothing wrong, sir. You can give me your information or you can go to jail. What's your name and badge number? You can give me your information or you can go to jail and my badge number will be on your ticket. What's your name and your badge number? You'll have my badge number when you get your ticket. So you know I did nothing wrong. If you don't give me your information, you're going to go to jail for interfering. 100%. Interfering? Yep, interfering with a lawful investigation. That's the reason you and put I me over? I asked you like 20 times. You now, know I did nothing wrong, sir. I'm going to give you one more chance. Can I get your supervisor? If you do not come, come out of this car Can and give me your information, you're going to get pulled out. Is that buzzing sound, all the flies buzzing in his brain? Out of this car, and you're going to go to jail. Can you get your so supervisor you can, here? No, you can give me your information, and you can talk to a supervisor. Sir, you this video is almost done, by the way. I know that noise is hella annoying. No, I did not do no illegal traffic lane change. Listen, I'm not going to argue with you here on, on scene. You can argue that in court. Okay, but I'm gonna give you this one chance to give me your information. So I'm you waiting. know I did not do nothing wrong, man. Give me your information. Sir, you put me over for an illegal traffic give lane when I had my light when I had my lights on. When you're gonna go to jail. What's your name and your badge number, sir? My name is right there. What's your badge number? What is your name? I'd rather not say name. This is your last chance. I'm gonna ask you one more time, okay? What is your name? Give me your license, registration, sir, and insurance. You know that's bogus, right? What you pulled me over for, right? Yep, Dude, no. I'm gonna break your window. <laughs> Money shot incoming. Really now? Roll it down, or we're gonna break it. One hundred percent. Really now? This is your You're gonna violate, your... sir. Stop. Right. Open the door, then. <laughs> Be there. He would like, hey, it's on it. <laughs> You're gonna violate Open my rights because I did that? Open the door. Just because I flicked you off? You Open Stop, man. Open the door. Open the door. Really now? Okay, so after requesting his license, registration, and insurance 20 times, I know because I counted, and then after requesting he exit the vehicle, which he refuses to do, he leaves the officer with no option but to, well, I'll just let the video play. Really now? Three, two, one. Dude. That's a cool hey, little device. Don't do so, oh, there was someone learn? else in the car too. What is the moral of this story? Well, flipping off a cop. Someone with cute nail polish, looks like. <laughs> I have sparkly nail polish on too. I don't know if how. Oh, that's going to blow it out. That didn't show up very well, but you get it. We'll only draw attention to you but it will also draw close attention to your vehicle and the manner in which you drive. Okay, so according to the original video description, he spent almost two days in Greenville County Jail before he was bailed out and needs help on what to do next. He also asks if we have any questions or tips for him regarding this stop. Well, you all know what I think, 
but please let me know your thoughts and tips down in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys, please like, share and subscribe and if you would like to support my work and get early access to videos like this, then please check out my Patreon page in the description. <laughs> Play the guru one. Basically one of those sovereign citizen groups who coach you during stops over the phone and promise to get you out of traffic tickets and the need for a driver's license, etc. You know, with their shenanigans, which, as we all know, don't work. And that's who we can hear in the background still on the line. Hey, how you doing today, sir? How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm all right, how are you? Good. What's the license plate for? Statement for police. Exercise your rights card. I'm guessing he has one of those private, air quote, license plates, meaning he does not have an actual state-issued license plate. I don't know for sure. That's a common thing with sovereign citizens. They don't think they need them, so they get fake license plates. Please You're being audio and video recorded, just so What's you know. What's that? You're being audio and video recorded, just so you know. All right, no problem. Do you have a driver's license with you? I don't, I don't, I'm not offering any uh, incriminating information. You so. what? That's not, not incriminating information. information. That's what's, just uh, identifying yourself, which you are required well, to do during traffic stops. Uh, license plate on your vehicle. I need your driver's license, please. Uh, for what purpose, sir? Okay. That's not. Sure. Right. I'm not in commerce right now. I do have a license for the purpose of commerce. You what? I do have a license for the purpose of commerce. You what? I do have a license for the purpose of commerce. Do you understand That's what that means? Accident. You have a, a license for the duty of commerce. Yeah, do you understand what that means? No. You don't? No. But you're pursuing, <laughs> you're pursuing people on the highway of your own accord. Right, so you're driving down the street. Uh, Castle Rock versus Gonzalez. Yeah. Castle Rock versus Gonzalez. The uh, officers have no duty to protect the public. You only have a duty to protect the rights of, the, of men and women. So right now you have no judicial immunity if you move forward with anything because I'm not in commerce. None of this is true. Driving has nothing to do with whether or not you're in commerce. It has whether or not to do you're operating a motor vehicle on public roads. No, that's not what cast to protect the fight. I need your... Can we have his name? Can you have your name? Sure, it's Officer Barber. No, no that's, a, that's a title. That's a title. I need your full name. Sure, no problem, sir. It's Officer Barber from Lower Providence, please. Okay. Can I have your name, please? No, you have his... Can you have his first name? Your... What's your first name? Matthew. Matthew? Yep. Okay, would he like to be appointed fiduciary trustee? Ma that doesn't mean anything! Matthew, Paul, stop looking around my car, please. No, everything's in plain view right here. Okay, well, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong. Uh, he is, he's not disallowed from doing that. He can't go into your car and search it, um, without, uh, either your consent or without probable cause, or a warrant in some cases, but, like, if something is in clear view, like if you're driving around in a state where, for instance, let's give an example, where marijuana was illegal and you have a joint clearly sitting out on the dashboard and they see that, that becomes probable cause because it's in clear view. Uh, Matthew Barber, what's your... Badge number 60. Badge number 60. That's title. Okay. All right. Uh, Matthew Barber, uh, middle name? So listen, do you mm -hmm. have your driver's license with you? You're not driving, you're traveling. I'm traveling. Okay, well if you're... <laughs> How much is he paying this person to give him this air quote advice? This is such terrible advice. Traveling on the highway, you need to have a driver's license, right? <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. Do you have insurance? Yes, you do. Okay, I gotta save this for next time because it's like 35 minutes long and it's amazing. But I don't want to go through the whole 35 minute thing right now. No, I'll I'll stay on a little longer than I intended. This is too good. We'll just watch it. We'll watch it. We'll power through. We got this. The vehicle? Sir, Do you have I everything that I need. I have everything that I need okay, legitimately for commerce. For the vehicle? It's here. This okay. is my insurance information. Perfect. Okay. I'm, I'm not. Can I have your insurance information, please? Okay. I, I'm not. I'm not. I need to make sure your insurance information. I'm insured. Is valid so you can continue on your travels, sir. I do not consent to contract. Sir. That's not helpful! You don't need to contract with the police in order for them to have authority over you! That's not how this works! I don't consent to contract. I'm already- I'm legit. 
I'm legit. I don't know that. Okay. But, I don't what crime am I? Are. What crime am I? You're accused? driving down the highway. That's not a crime. A That's unlawful. I do have a license plate on my vehicle. You do not. That's a plate on my vehicle, right? It needs to be a legal state-issued license plate, either by this state or another state in the union. It's not. A and now you're interfering with the traffic stop and refusing to identify yourself with just another thing. Uh, Rachelogy says motivational bits. Thank you. A registered plate, sir. Right, but this isn't your property, and I'm not a slave. Equating the requ <laughs> It has nothing to do with slavery. Requirement for a life, and to think he does. But that's what you're doing by no, pursuing, I mean, because right now, right now, the, the motor vehicle code doesn't speak about it. The motor vehicle. Look, under duress, I'll give you my license. Under duress. Perfect. That's <laughs> he saw the other two police walking up in the rear view and he's like all right all right all right here's my license plate i think the person on the phone isn't gonna like that choice under threat dress and coercion thank you under threat <laughs> dress and coercion thank you very much okay we'll oh, make this thing uh, i need the uh, one card the don't get out be be nice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just be nice marcus yeah and just say, I do not consent to contract with you. I'm a living soul created by God. I have the right to travel in my own private capacity. I am None of that means anything legally. I'm in my private capacity. This should really be common sense, but if you want to stop cops from reaching for their weapons, then I would do as the officer said and stop reaching around inside your car. Nick says, is that his mom? No, this is someone he is paying to give him sovereign citizen advice. There are people who make their living scamming people by selling them sovereign citizen programs. And like, here's how you can get out of traffic tickets and get out of having to have a driver's license and whatever. Uh, so this is someone he is paying to give him this advice. Robert Morley says, spoiler alert, they bring a dog to sniff his car for pot. Uh... Right now, the officer, right now, the officer just pulled his baton out. Officer, what's your name, sir? There's an officer to my right. He just pulled his baton out for no reason. Okay, let's start writing this down. I'm taking notes, Marcus. Okay. Bitter Green says, I should get a job doing that and then just tell them to do what the man with the gun says. Matthew Barber, what's his, uh... Stop reaching around, okay? Yes, sir. Thank what's your you. name, sir? Sir, you're a public Can official. May I have your name, please? Where May I have your name, please, sir? From? I'm sorry? Oh, there's multiple people on the phone. He's not even just paying one person. He's paying multiple people who are part of this. Robert Morley says, is that your baton or are you just happy to see me? May I see your supervisor, please? May I have a supervisor on the scene, please? Never once in the history of sovereign citizendom has asking for a supervisor made anything better for the sovereign citizen. At best... It remains the same. It remains neutral. Usually it gets worse because supervisors do not like being called down for BS like this. What's your name, sir? You know, it's kind of funny. Soft sits are constantly in my comment section calling me and my subscribers sheep, telling us to think for ourselves and do our own research. My last name is Bonner. None, uh, your, your full name? Can I have your name, please? Can I have your name, please, sir? Bonner is the last name, sir. Yeah. The full name, please? My last Not name the is title. Sir. The full name, please? My last name is Bonner. My badge number is 61, sir. No. Your, your first name, please? You're required to identify yourself to the public, sir. Your first name, please? Your last name is a title. It's a surname. It's a title of a trust. I need your full name, sir, please. May I please have your full name, sir? Please. <laughs> Officer number 61 is refusing to identify himself. <laughs> Sir, may I have your name, please? I'm, I'm being polite. I just would Corporal like... Corporal Fleming. Corporal Fleming. You'd like uh, for them to it. show you identification. May I have your name, please? Corporal? 
That's the title. That's the title. That's your first name. Yep. Your first name is Corporal. F L E M I N G. Okay, he's now. He's identifies. The cops have to identify themselves. I don't think they necess. I don't know. I'm just gonna say I don't know. I don't know if they have to give you their first name, but they can give you their like last name and badge number. His name is Corporal Fleming. That's his first name. He claims. Well, Fleming. Okay. That's a nice bit of trolling there. And yes, it is funny actually because this what department, sir. What department, oh. sir? He's refusing to identify the department. Not to worry, you'll be seeing that very. Sh Have a supervisor, please. Sorry, Above I gotta skip over the other person commenting on this because I don't have access to the original video. Bro. Oh, fuck. You have a cop that doesn't play with this. Who do I ask for? Their super, his supervisor. May I please have your supervisor, sir? Corporal Fleming, may I please have your supervisor? <laughs> Supervisors all the way up. You ask the supervisor to call them and, co and come in on the call. Yeah, ask them. They can call. He can call. If Corporal Fleming, to. may you please call your supervisor, sir? I'm being polite, sir. I don't, I'm not. What is I, you looking for? Uh, I, I'm not trying to be rude with you, you, sir. What are you looking for, sir? Uh, your supervisor? I am a supervisor. Can you please call your supervisor? All these sirs, like them calling each other sir, feel so passive aggressive. How many not, supervisors do we need? Will not we need, get. Well, someone that's, we need something specific? Well, I need, I need someone that's going to not violate anybody's inalienable rights as okay, a man or woman. That would be the three officers that are here on scene. None of us are violating your rights. You are, though. Yeah. The You're motor vehicle okay. code it doesn't constitute a crime. There's no victim or damages. <laughs> Again, something doesn't have to have a direct victim for something to be a crime. Society can philosophically be the victim in a crime. A law can require you to have licensing for doing something, and even if you don't harm someone, if you are operating whatever or doing whatever that requires a license, without a license, that's against the law. If you're operating a motor vehicle without a license or license plate or whatever, that's against the law, even if you aren't actively harming someone, like hitting them with a car or whatever. So, so do you have a specific question? That, what department are they from? Two other officers Which, and no one's violating low, rights. Lower Providence. I'm pulled over, so you're already violating my lights. I'm in a custodial arrest and you didn't read me my Miranda rights. I'm in a custodial arrest and you didn't read me my Miranda rights. That's deprivation of rights. No, um, when you're being stopped for, like, a traffic stop, they don't have to read you your rights. They only have to read you your rights, um, if, like, you're actively being detained and arrested and being put in jail. Like, actually arrested, arrested. There are different kinds of arrest. Like, a, I, I forget the nomenclature. Maybe Robert Morley, if he's still here, can tell me. But I know there's different kinds of arrest. One of them is custodial, um, and then there's a different one. Uh, so like a traffic stop or being stopped on the street and asked questions during an investigation is a kind of arrest, technically, but it's not what we would colloquially consider being arrested, which is different. It's being detained. Yeah, but I've heard a different word for that, too. It's being detained, but there is some other word I was under the impression that there's like a different word for it as well. Uh, Roland Seven says, "What did Stalin say? Harming one person is a crime. Harming the greater public isn't a, the general public isn't a crime." Uh, it's always good to be on the side of Stalin, don't you think? <laughs> no, it's not. The police only need to Mirandize you if they intend to interrogate you under custody. That. Hello. Hi. What you looking for? A toy for our child. It's not the case here. They only asked you for the details you are legally required to provide. Which after a uh, derp 42 for 2069 thanks for 13 months says sorry to be a bother but didn't get a sub baby name for the nine months what would be a good name Hannah Baja give me a name Edmund Fitzgerald Edmund Fitzgerald sounds good uh hydrate we'll do a bit of whining you eventually gave I need four Custodial versus non-custodial arrest? Is that what I'm thinking of? Custodial arrest applies to more serious crimes and felonies. Non-custodial are more common for mis- No, so it's not the right thing. I don't know where I heard that then. It is just attainment. I apologize.
Who names? Is this uh, uh, Pennsylvania? Yeah, it's uh, Lower Providence. We have officer number 60, officer number 61. Uh, naturally, they probably followed me from the courthouse. <laughs> uh, Poholo, I am uh, a lady. I'm a trans woman. Probably. So, and uh, now they want to stalk and harass me. No, that's not the definition of stalking and harassment either. It's their job to check registration plates against the database. You have a private plate on your car that isn't coming back as valid. So they stopped you. End of discussion. Pulled out baton. Uh, Corporal Fleming pulled out his baton. Uh, I believe he's put it back. I can't tell if he still has it in his to hand To intimidate or not. you. What's the date today, the 28th? Yeah. Corporal Fleming. Mm -hmm. Corporal Fleming, we want his first name. Can I have your name? Right now, All right, yeah. hey, Mr. Ross. Yes, sir. Uh, um, my name's not Mr. Ross. It's which, what do you Cross. want me to call you? My Marcus, sir. Marcus, okay. Hey, Marcus. Yes, sir. So this vehicle is registered out of South Carolina. Yes, sir. All right, your tag RG0823A is expired. That's, you that's not true. It is true. I just how, ran it. I'm just letting you know, okay? How, Do you how, have a current registration card from another state? Like, is this registered in Pennsylvania as well or just South Carolina? I don't understand what you mean. So the <laughs> He means, do you have your car registered in Pennsylvania with an up-to-date registration because the tag that is currently on your car on file is uh, uh, expired? The vehicle is registered in South Carolina. Okay. It's expired. I don't understand. Can you tell her to stop talking? Oh god, they're trying to do the I don't understand thing. I do not stand under. Sure I can have a conversation with sure. you? She's uh, in, just so you can hear what I'm sure. saying. I don't. Good idea. Neither of them are of any help. They only tell him to ask dumb, irrelevant questions anyway. For you, man. Sorry. Sir. So you're it's driving okay. the vehicle. The plate that's on here isn't a real plate, okay? You, you need the plate. It is registered in South Carolina, but it's expired. I'm asking you. Do you have this vehicle registered in Pennsylvania or another state? No, it's registered in... In South Carolina. I believe so. Yeah, but it's expired, meaning you didn't renew that registration in South Carolina. It's a new vehicle. But it's expired. It expired in August, okay? I just got the vehicle. That's what I got the plate in August. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Plate expires August 23rd, 2021. You see that on the paperwork you handed me? 821. Is that the, that's the temporary? What's that? That's the temporary tag? Okay. Can I step out? And... Yeah, you can step out. Come on out. Should I? That is contacting with them, Marcus. I'm sorry? Because I have the plate. Okay. I'll take a look at Should it. Should I step out and get the plate? So he even has a real plate? He just doesn't have it on the car? Just take the ticket if they want to you just take the ticket you can deal with it in court don't argue with Thank men you, with Jeremy. a gun on the side okay, of the I'll road just park. I'll just park. nick says uh septemberary not only are they making up laws they're making up months too park the car no one's arguing with you yes okay. well, actually, I would like to talk to you about something if you could step out that would be great okay um, can i yeah it's fine you can go into the spot that's fine no you're good just leave it here okay all right um i'm not sure why they're get, trying to get me out of the vehicle you literally asked if you can get out. What? They are trying to get me out until myself. No. Is there a reason I need to step out? Yeah, your vehicle smells like marijuana. Okay. Oh shit! <laughs> I wonder if it really does or if they're just saying that. Cause cops, cops will just say that. <laughs> but I do wonder if he actually does have weed in the car. That's not true. No. So my question to you is very simply. Do you have a medical marijuana card for the state of South Carolina or the state of Pennsylvania? The vehicle doesn't smell like marijuana. So I don't smoke okay. marijuana. Well, exactly. Because you don't smell it, that doesn't necessarily mean that... Yeah. It's a nice thing about being in Michigan. Weed is legal, recreationally. Yeah, but I don't smoke marijuana. Provided you're of age, of course. Marijuana. Does he have a... Is, does he have a license to smell for marijuana? I mean, how does that work? Here's... Does he have a license to smell for marijuana? That's not how that works. I didn't know there was such a license. All you need is, and she's not. I canine to come to the scene. We're gonna smell. No. I don't consent to that. 
But you don't need to consent to it. I I'm do. Just telling you what the I law do. tells me I can do here. The law, that's not, that's codes. It's code okay. policy. You got CBD, you should have gone with KFC. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I do smoke cigars. When was the last time you smoked a cigar? I'm not offering testimony, sir. Alright, so here's what I'm going to have happen. Do you have a ticket? I'll take, I'll take your, your ticket and I won't drive. Just pointing out that he said drive. He won't drive. Just thought I would mention that because words, as we all know, are important to soft sits. And now he's on camera saying he drives. Ticket, okay? Because I can smell marijuana. So I'm going to have I a canine call. I wasn't smoking marijuana, sir. Okay? <laughs> and here's, here's what can happen. You have two choices. There's no marijuana in the car, so it doesn't matter. Alright, so sir. it's really simple. Alright? I know where you live, up in Pottstown, okay? That's not right. You're right down the street, so you have two choices. Hey, Jess. What? Go, go ahead, go ahead. I'm you're not... Two, you're, we're here, we're here. You your choices here, okay? Okay. That freaked him out for some reason, them knowing his address. Was there shocking, I, I assume? I, I, he gave him a license. Of course they know where he lives. I can either There's no marijuana, just so you know, so I don't know what he's I talking about. I do not consent to contact. Can what? Can you stop talking for two seconds so I can have a conversation with you? Yes. Ma'am, stop talking so I can have a conversation, please. This guru is- I'm surprised they haven't told him to end the call. I've never seen a traffic stop where they let someone be on the phone with someone else during it. Is a nuisance and she cannot help herself and will not stay quiet for long. He needs to just hang up the call. She's completely misleading him. Nice gold from the cop, by the way. So, here's, here's what your options are. You can allow me to take a look inside the vehicle with a consent to search form, as long as there's no marijuana, or if it's a small amount of marijuana, we can handle that here at the scene, okay? Oh, uh, we have a township ordinance. If um, you decline that, which is your right to do so, I'm going to have a narcotic canine come and smell around the exterior of the vehicle. If the dog tells me that there's marijuana inside the vehicle, or indicates on the presence of narcotics, then I'm going to end up having to impound your vehicle and applying for a search warrant. And then I'm not able to really help you out. I don't really have too much discretion after that. Okay. So, you don't seem like a bad I, guy. I understand what you're saying. You seem like you're in a little bit of... <laughs> he said, I overstand what you're saying. Sovereign citizens sometimes say overstand instead of understand because they believe... If you say the words understand, it literally means you stand under the cop's authority and it gives them consent to arrest you. Overstand. Nick says, uh, F you pig, stick to the real crime. Say, hey, I don't disagree that I think it's a waste of police time to do anything in relation to marijuana. I don't disagree over your head right now and i'm just giving you the easiest option well this okay. is what i do know it's your choice sir. i know that regardless like your warrant your dog i know that there's no marijuana in this car okay um was someone in your vehicle smoking marijuana no one, i don't yeah. smoke marijuana i smoke cbd you smoke cbd yeah okay all right so the choice is yours if you're telling me there's no marijuana and you're confident in that it'll take me three minutes to just make sure there's not and then you'll be on your way with a simple traffic ticket or maybe not even a tra simple traffic ticket, maybe just a verbal warning today. I'm leaving it up to you though. But you need to let me know if I can search or if you want to um, have me call for a dog and impound your vehicle. If the this dog is, this is all cars. under duress. Um, so they're gonna try to steal my property. No one's stealing your property. You are stealing my property. everything to you very simply. I'm in private, you're stealing my property. And so what, what would you like to do here, sir? Can I uh, call my attorney? Legal entrapment's an unlawful crime. Legal, legal entrapment's this is not an entrapment. Crime. That? Legal entrapment's an unlawful crime. That's, first of all, redundant. Second of all, it's not entrapment to search your car. All crimes are unlawful, just an FYI for the future. Two other things. Choices, okay? It's real simple. You can either let me search with a consent form, which is your right to say no, or I'm gonna ask for a dog to come here and smell around the vehicle. Okay, if the dog oh. comes here and smells around it, and I'm telling you, I can smell it because I'm standing here. If the dog no, stands here and smells it's it, not then marijuana. I have to take your car and apply for a search warrant. It's not marijuana. So you're saying it's CBD? It's not that big a deal. Hydrate. I have discretion right now. If you make it a big deal. I don't have too much discretion. Does that make sense to you, sir? This is Matthew Barber speaking to you. Can uh, she stop talking for two Matthew. seconds? She was just trying to identify you, sir. Okay. I'm yes, having a Matthew Barber, sir. With you, not a person who I have no idea who it is on the This is my program. private member association. Yeah, nobody cares about your private members association. You should have just called your real attorney instead of these clowns. 
Um, so Mr. Carl, they're trying to make it a false right? accusation. Uh, can I call my attorney, please? No, you can't call your attorney. Right? I have a right to call my attorney. <laughs> Whoa. You call your attorney all you want. He'll explain to you the exact same thing I just explained to you. Okay. Matthew uh, Barber, I would like to call him. I mean, okay, step out and call him. You're, look, why do I have to step out of the camera here? Because we're going to end up searching your vehicle one way or the other. Okay? Uh, uh, so un under here, duress unlawfully. With your consent, we can do it here at the scene or I can apply for a search warrant. It's totally up to you, sir. So I'm giving you the opportunity now to make that make a as, a, as a free man traveling on the interstate. Okay. Nice. The cop's getting in on the old soft seat lingo. I like that. Let's listen. I think I have the same jacket this guy's wearing, I just noticed. Tea with Goblins with 100 bits says, Also, the use of drug sniffers dogs to detect drugs is flawed at best. They have an incredibly high flame positive rate, and being pack animals, the dogs will observe their handler's body language and take their cues from there, meaning that if a cop deliberately targeting or, or profiling someone, the drug dog is more likely to return a positive response because it wants the reward. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Listen to that one again. Uh, I'm sorry. On the I, false positive okay. rate. That makes that sense. was awesome. I love it when cops play them at their own game. I should make a compilation of cops trolling. So, well, I'm sorry. I'm you, sorry. As a living uh, can you soul repeat that? traveling on the interstate, As a man. I'm living. You make that decision right now. Okay. What? Okay. Uh, can I ask you a question? Sure. Go ahead. Um, what articulable crime did you have? Uh, You're driving down the road without a license plate. Then you have a I warrant from the judiciary. And I can smell marijuana. Did you contact the judiciary to get a warrant to stop me for that? You don't need to get a warrant for traffic stops. Really, a warrant for the traffic stop in practice? Stand by. You know. Okay. I have authority. I'm just asking a question. I'm asking a question. Go ahead. What's your question? Did you have? Do I have authority to stop you for driving? No, down no, no. The That's not what I asked you. Plate. What I asked yes, you I is, do you have a signed search have... warrant from a judiciary? Before yeah, you stop, before you stop me, no, before you stop me. Police officer driving through, you're driving through our. But you turn on your emergency lights. You turn on your emergency lights. So we're going around in circles here. Welcome to the world of sovereign citizens, I guess. Six, six, six. You know, May I have my lawyer? Should I give him consent? Come on. No. You said no. Should I call my attorney? Should I call my attorney? If it's a real attorney, I would recommend it. <laughs> or just, I don't know. Does he have weed in the car? That would be a bad call. Look, I'm, I'm... Go ahead. Sir, put, he's putting his hand in my car. Putting his hand in his car. Okay, we're, we're not making this into anything more. Okay, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this for you. Go ahead. Step out, please. Okay. Are you okay, Marcos? Yeah, let me put a mask on because they don't have That's any of their masks yeah, on. You can, put your mask on. can you put your Marcus. mask on, please? Yes. Marcus. Yes. I yes. can hear him. Do you have any weapons on you, Marcus? No, I don't have any weapons right. on me. Can you just step now that turns out to be not. You can record all you want. No okay. one's taking your cameras from you, okay? Just do me a favor, put your hands right here for a minute. Just put your hands right there. I'm just making sure you don't have any weapons on you with your big bulky jacket. Okay. okay. I do. I own that exact same jacket. Bullet in your pocket? Sorry, I was just in court. Okay. What is it? Why would in your there pocket? be a bullet in my pocket? That's what I'm asking it's you. It's a battery. It's a battery? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I don't have any no. weapons. I have camping gear in my okay. car. Perfect. Just step back here. So, along with the private plate on his car... <laughs> He's got the Sovereign Citizen bumper sticker. There are these two stickers. Doesn't need reason. Wish. That's all you want, okay? Yes. Right here. Right here. Where? Just stand right here. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging. You're on camera too, okay? Have the Private Members Association members given up on him then, do you think? Letting his call go to uh, voicemail. Yeah. Four, Everything's eight, fine. Four, You're not gonna get hurt. Nine, today, okay? Nine, okay. Four, I just don't. Nine, I just don't. Zero, eight, three, I don't trust you guys. Okay. No problem. At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hydrate. Hey Andre, I'm being illegally searched right now. Uh, unlawfully. You'll get these back at the conclusion of the stop. Okay? okay. I'm being illegally searched right now, unlawfully. Yeah. Did he ever actually give consent? I didn't hear him give consent to search the car. Uh, he got out of the car. I have it on video. 
uh, they turned their emergency lights on, committed a felony without a warrant from a judiciary, and then they pursued me on the highway, not speeding, over my private plate when I wasn't in commerce, uh, and I'm not a passenger car, with 10 or more uh, passengers according to the motor vehicle code that they're pulling me over for. Yeah, you're obviously not reading the correct vehicle code. Try looking up the motor vehicle. Uh, I gave him the... Where's my wallet? My wallet? It's, in your it's still in the car? Except for this here. Okay? okay. Could you grab my wallet for me, please, sir? Pit Dusty Bacole, thanks for following. So, is it just CBD inside the vehicle, sir? Yes. All right. A lot or a little? Uh, about a gram, maybe. Okay. But I'm not offering any testimony. That's fine. Oh, uh, you're doing this against my Miranda rights. That's you right. Miranda rights. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a consent? Oh, you can do it. You can do it. I mean, That's I'm not. Fine. I'm not going to give you any written. I'm not signing any contracts with you. If you want. Oh, okay. He's he is giving them consent to search the car. Hmm. No, if you want to unlawfully search. He's not very good at this. I mean, obviously, he's a sovereign citizen. He's the weirdest sovereign citizen in that, like, they're applying the littlest bit of pressure, and he is, like, giving them consent and doing what they say. It's very weird. You can tell he's not very confident about his sovereign citizen stuff, which is fair because sovereign citizen stuff is complete BS, but also he's, like, correcting into, fuck it, the cops can do whatever they want. But I don't give you permission. It's my consent. Are you okay? Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna force contract. They want me to sign something, but don't sign anything. If you sign, put VC above your name. That's not that's terrible advice. It's not gonna do anything. Okay. They can force you to sign it anyway. So they can't force you into contract. VC means under duress. Okay. Yeah, he knows. So just say or sign under duress, then. It's lovely coact. So yeah. <laughs> it is his first time, yeah. Bitter Grin says, do what the people Marcus, with guns say, talk the lawyer capacity, later. Buddy. Yeah, I'm, I'm not in commerce, I'm of a private capacity, sir. Yeah, we know, you've said argument. Oh, there it is. Wait, what is that under my wheel? Is it my wallet? Oh, did you guys put that under there? We did, so you didn't Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I guess I, I thought I dropped it, but they have some type of thing under my wheel. Some type. I'm taking notes and we're recording. What is your full name, sir? Fleming. I'm sorry? First, first name? Corporal. First, first name? Corporal. That's a title. Right. Is that the name on your birth certificate? You don't need the name on my birth certificate, sir. My name's so, Corporal Fleming. Okay, he's, he's hiding behind a title. That creeps in a stopper. So because he didn't verbalize his full name, which he is not required to do anyway, you think this creates an estoppel? Yeah, good luck with that. He needs to he needs to show ID to you. Ask them for ID. Can I ask for uh, ID, please? Hey, Mr. Um, Cross. You have Marcus or Mr. I'm Cross? I'm not a title. Okay. If you want to save us time, okay, and, and be on your way faster, you can sign this consent to search for him, okay? I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> Uh, Vaz Lunacy says, ah, so he's a baby sovereign citizen. He knows stuff you can read from a pamphlet, but nothing practical. How cute for his handlers, you know. He says wow. we can take a look inside the vehicle. Okay. I'm going to do it under duress. That's fine. Do it under duress if that's how you I feel. I wouldn't mind. Don't sign What did you say? I wouldn't sign. I, I would on, with VC. Put VC on it. But VC. Okay. On contracts. Okay, never mind. Don't sign it. The last thing this guy needs right now is these two idiots disagreeing with each other. They're giving him terrible advice as it is. I wonder how much money he paid these two morons. We learned that. Together we oh, learned okay. this. I wouldn't sign anything. Yeah, I mean, they, they, gotta, they gotta do it. Uh, it's VC. I didn't even put my signature on it because I don't consent. He's gonna do what he's gonna do anyway, so. You do not sign a contract. Okay. That you are not willingly, voluntarily, and with fair consideration going into, Marcus. I know, I know how it goes. It's up to you, it's up to you, it's your choice. 
Yeah, I put it's BC. funny that he's both failing at being... He's failing on, like, three different fronts. He's failing on being this sovereign citizen because he's not following the bullshit advice of the sovereign citizens. He's not succeeding, like, as someone who doesn't trust the police, which I think is a reasonable, you know, reaction considering how the police are. And he's also failing at being someone who trusts the police and does everything they say. Like, he's falling in this weird area where he keeps... He doesn't know what to do, so he keeps jumping between the different things. I'm not signing. I don't, I don't consent. They're going to do what they're going to do anyway. They're going to extort me because that's what they always do. There it is. There it is. There they There's no we in the car anyway. Are you the living man? Did you tell them that? Yeah, I'm the living... Oh, that'll help. Oh, the living man. <laughs> traveling. My private capacity. This is uh, K911. Okay. Sign it all rights reserved. Okay. So, is Mr. Paul, just so you know, you're not free to leave right now. Okay. Um, okay. Detained. I'm under a custodial arrest. You're not under custodial arrest. You're being detained right now. Yeah, you're but you already stopped me and put your lights on to stop me. It is okay. under the code. It's so custodial just arrest. So, you know, okay. Um, we have a K9 coming. They're going to do an exterior sniff around the outside of the vehicle. All right. I don't consent. No. You don't have to consent to an exterior sniff, okay? You don't consent to be stopped, my god. Yeah, oh, that's cool. They need to I make agree. their money somehow. You can stand right here in front of the camera. Okay? They need to make their money somehow. Oh, boo hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. What is the crime that you are being charged with to detain you? Hey, which, what crime am I being charged with to save me? What's that? What crime am I being charged with to detain me? They explained that you you had an illegal... Wait, was this the one with the... No, you, you didn't have a license plate, um, which was the initial reason for the stop. And then once they stopped, you didn't give them your information until you were forced. Uh, but he did end up giving that information. And then uh, they smelled marijuana, at least allegedly. But yes, it was... Uh, it was, uh, no license plate, then they found he had expired tags, now the marijuana. Alleged marijuana smell. You're being detained right now for a traffic violation, and the result of the traffic violation is we can smell marijuana coming from the vehicle. You don't have a medical marijuana card, okay? So, the canines here, they're going right, to do that's, their thing. That's, that's not true. And then you'll either be free to leave or not free to leave, okay? Right. It's not true. I, I did have a medical marijuana card, but... You do have it. Where is it? I said I did have one. I don't okay. live in Pennsylvania. All right. No problem. You're going to give them contract. Marcus. I don't consent the contract, right. sir. I don't consent. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll get in front of the camera. So I guess I'll just say this for the camera. Uh, Marcus. My name is Marcus. I'm a living soul. Created by God in a man's body traveling in my private conveyance. These officers unlawfully pulled me over and are making false accusations. So you keep saying, but the place to find. Do dogs indicate on CBD? I'd be surprised if they didn't, if I'm being honest. Like those accusations or charges is in court and not on the street. When will subsets learn? Detective Crop. Hey, what, hey, that's crazy. Detective Crops here. That's that's funny, because, Detective. yeah, because he's involved in my case, and that's where I was just leaving from. <laughs> oh no, he's already involved in some other kind of legal issue. And they're trying to not. And I served them a notice of sworn statement, and it's funny that he's on the scene. That's so funny. He can't do that. Well, you did ask for more officers to attend the stop when you requested the supervisor's supervisor. Remember. So maybe he's, well, you know, that supervisor you were asking for earlier. You cannot have it both ways. Is that the type of crap? Is that the type of crap? What's that? Is that the type of crap? Okay, so... Oh, I'm sorry. Is that the type of crap? Is that, is that officer crap? Oh, it looks like him. You followed from the courthouse, huh? I don't know. Who is that? They did not follow you from the that's courthouse. The what is his name? He has his canine partner that's trained to detect narcotics. What is his name? 
I don't know his name. We'll get it for you. Okay. I don't know his name. What? Yeah, I need, I need, I need. He needs to be okay, properly identified. No I need, I need it. I need it now. Matthew Barber. This is yeah, Officer Matthew Barber. Repeat this to give. This is uh, Mr. Bonner. He didn't identify his name. He didn't identify his name. God, this there's officer. so many cops here just for this stupid traffic he didn't stop. Didn't identify his name. And they said that is not. If they're dealing with him, at least they're not bothering other people, so. Tell them, can you appoint the fiduciary? What a beautiful pooch. Go do your job, boy. Or girl. Trust I'd like to appoint you, uh, I'd like to appoint you, sir, fiduciary trustee. What's that? I'd like to appoint you fiduciary trustee. That doesn't mean anything. Of your state. Of my state. And you, you will be liable for any bonds or, or damage. Just go to the nearest cop and say you're liable for anything. Sure, no problem. Sure. Oh, so he, he accepts. Okay. Okay, so this, yeah, sure. Uh, Ravenwolf, I'm going to say no to the hats off because this video only has like two minutes left. And once it's done, I'm going to end the stream and I don't want you to waste the channel points. You can save them for the next stream or whenever. Oh, no problem. From this cop has just created an unbreakable contract for these offsets. Yes, a verbal nonchalant, yeah, sure, no problem, is enough for them, yet they require a signed contract for the law to apply to them. I know, I know, it's crazy. Oh, so he, he accepts, okay. Accepts fiduciary trustee. They're trying trustee. hard, but there's nothing in my car. So, please don't scratch the paint. Since we're listening to this, we can put out sworn testimony ourselves. Okay, okay so that's where the video ends. So, unfortunately, we do not see the arrest. But RT did look up his case and he found that he was arrested for make slash repair selling etc. offensive weapons. Use in possession of drug paraphernalia, driving an unregistered vehicle, and in possession of drug paraphernalia with without actually holding is kind of bullshit. Considering he said he smokes CBD, which is not illegal, but makes repairs, offensive weapons. Didn't expect that. <laughs> Proper display of plates. And it looks like he will be back in court on the 6th of April, 2022. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching, guys. Take care. Yeah, but I think that drug paraphernalia charge is bullshit. But I guess he was making illegal weapons of some kind. So, you know. <laughs> Tooth Goblin says, um, And what is your name and badge number? Woof. Are you refusing to identify yourself? Woof. I do not consent, canine tyrant. <laughs> All right, that was fun. Let's see who we're gonna raid. Jake Stremen. All right, like I said, tomorrow's D&D &D night, so I'll be streaming over on actual Jake's channel uh, for Charisma Saves, which is our D&D &D stream. I'll be back Friday for um, uh, uh, some kind of stream. Uh, Saturday, I'm taking off because of my birthday. Sunday will be a regular stream. Next Sunday, I think we're going to do um, the patron-only stream. So if you want to be a part of that, join the Patreon. There's a link in uh, down here somewhere. Or you can find it at patreon.com slash Hannah Reloaded. Um, and yeah, that's it. I guess I'll see you guys later. Have a good night.